Hello, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Hello. Good to see us. Hope everyone's been keeping well since yesterday. I've been doing a lot of streams back to back this last week. Um, there's just been stuff out. Uh, but today, we're gonna be doing the last long boy stream for a little bit, and I'm gonna actually take some actual downtime next week. Um, well, I say that, uh, we have a stream tomorrow as well. We have Minecraft Charity Day tomorrow. If anyone's interested in that, we're doing, we're taking part in Love Traffics again. That's gonna be good fun. Uh, but for today, we're back with a long boy stream. Uh, Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Thought, you know what, I wanna play it. I wanna wrap up this case that we were on. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. How's everyone, how's everyone doing in chat? Are we still on the Maya case? Yes, we are. It's the same, it's, there's only been one part, stream of this so far. We did until dawn last weekend. Uh, cause it was Halloween. But we're gonna be trying to do a Phoenix Wright stream each weekend. The next well. How's everyone doing? I'm not caught up in YouTube. Uh, what kind of happened? Uh, Maya killed someone again. <laughs> More or less. And we gotta bail her out. Of prison. It's more or less how it goes. Also, there's a sequel to Von Karma. Um, I think that's the gist of it. Uh, if you missed the previous stream, obvious spoiler warning going in. We're, we're mid-case this time. Uh, so we're going to be starting from the middle of it. Um, but the other, the other checks... We gotta do before we start. We always have to do this. Is like before the plane takes off. Uh, no spoilers, please. This is my first time playing. I'm completely blind. Um, there is no backseat command set up on the chat, just in case. There. If it looks like I'm struggling with a puzzle, just smile away the pain. Don't say anything. And all questions are that I ask are purely hypothetical. Unless I say the key phrase, help me chat. Like, don't say that. Do not answer my questions. I don't deserve an answer. Uh, as ever, if, if spoilers do become an issue on stream, we'll pop it in sub mode for the entire game. We're not taking chances. But so far, it's been good. So far, you've been good. Um, but yeah, it'll be the entire game and probably the entire trilogy. So the stakes are pretty high there, so please don't. Smile away the pain. I think that should be everything. Are y'all ready? Uh, Salt, thank you for 1050 bits. Hello, RT. I'm excited to see the stream, but I'm about to head to work. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Have a good day at work. Uh, thank you to everyone that's already subbed. I, again, I, I haven't done anything. <laughs> like, you, you guys are too good to me. Like, you gotta... Like, like let, let me earn the bread, right? <laughs> I've sat down in a chair so far, and there's always, like, a handful of you, like, Jesus, he's fantastic! Give him... Give him 50! Like... Like, calm down, guys. There's no need. Hero, like... The fuck? Thanks for a thousand bits. Did I hear more bits and sub. I, I don't understand. I feel like I gotta earn it first. Quality chair content. Amber, thanks for the five gift subs. Jesus. He's sitting down. This stream is awesome. <laughs> oh, God. That's quality content. I got- I'm maintaining good posture right now. Holy shit! Guys, did you see this- the screen is off? It's like, whoa! How did he do that? 
No, thank you very much, guys. You're all you're all too kind. I'm hopefully not sick today as well. Uh, so I should be able to do the voices a little easier. I know I know two weeks ago I was still kind of feeling it. Yeah, thank you for the well wishes ever, guys. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits. Like, no, oh, Jesus, I haven't got anything. You're too good to me. Uh, let's play some Phoenix right. Holy shit, the stream's broken. Not even playing the right window. That's quality content. There we go. Did you see that? Oh my god, that's amazing! Holy shit! Is the music distorted? I don't know, I don't think so. The, the music should be the same as ever. Is that a one guy in chat? That's a one guy in chat, I think. Okay. How did he do that? <laughs> Thoughts, like Jesus, 1700 bits. Open the game, Big Poggers, very gamer. <laughs> like, here's $17, congratulations. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. We're on episode two, Reunion and Turnabout. Let's go. Avan, thank you for five gift subs already as well. Thank you very much. Too good to me. Okay, Karain Village. Thank you very... Oh, what was her voice? Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. There we go. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here today anyway. Um, I thought about this a little. Huh? If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man... He definitely didn't. Yes, of course. But if she didn't, and someone else did, right? It's your mother, Pearl. Your mother was in on it. She's a killer! That murderer person. Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. Yep, so, so just a quick recap so I can hedge my bets. Um, the Dr. Grey was killed uh, by a combination of Pearl's mother and um, the sister of Dr. Grey's previous patients. They collaborated on it, and the reason the, uh, Dr. the, the sister of the patient wanted revenge on Dr. Grey, uh, Pearl's mother wants Pearl to live in the spotlight of the Fey family, because she feels that Pearl is overshadowed by Maya. Um, that's my current, like, kind of bet that I've placed. Um, today we're gonna spend about six hours playing the game to see if that's correct. <laughs> okay, solve next game. Let's just move on. <laughs> Why is her forehead so big? I mean... You're not wrong, but you can't just say that about a kid. Today's trial. So what'd you think of seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I'd never seen so many people before. Oh. Mystic Maya looked so small and helpless. Oh, Maya's already naturally sh- <laughs> Yeah, she is pretty helpless. She doesn't know much of what's going on. And then, that snobby woman with that the roughly close. Roughly. Oh, she means Franziska. <laughs> she had such a bad attitude. She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm going to tell her what I think of her tomorrow. Good luck against Von Karma, kid. Wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. <laughs> yeah, let's ask her about the prosecutors. Hey, five-year-old child, what do you think about my opponent tomorrow? How was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer. A prosecutor. Her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. That's terrible. But she's a really good prosecutor with a heart on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. What about your good buddy Edgeworth, Phoenix? I, I thought you were friends. 
There's no good left in this world. Jesus Christ as well. Small chibi. Uh, thank you for the 50 quid. That's very generous. Let's go, boys. Thank you. Well, he might have become a good guy. Eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? This is that person Mystic Maya was talking about. Mr. Edgy Worsh. Shit. That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. I don't want to talk about him. Huh? Clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely. And died for it? Wait, what? It... it he's dead? I thought- I thought he just left being a prosecutor a while, he went on break! When did he die? <laughs> Off-screen death of a main character? Did, did Edgewood just get fucking axed during between games? I'd be a bit surprised, because he's on like the fucking box art for this one! <laughs> oh no! Uh, by the way... Yes, what is it? Uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who the murderer is, would <laughs> Look, I'm clutching at straws, little girl. Do you know who did it? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. Didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls? What was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Because when did she pick this up? Pearls? <laughs> Phoenix, this is a five-year-old child. I don't think she did it. I don't... It was you, wasn't it? I just realized that I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. <laughs> Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when the murder happened? Ah. What I... I was doing? Ah, I... I wasn't doing anything. He's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me. I won't tell anyone else. Except maybe a court of law. And all presiding over this case. I promise. Oh. Oh my god. Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. Can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Okay. Um, so they that So I'm gonna have to talk to her about it. I have a lot of pieces of evidence still. Really won't tell me where you were at the time of the murder. I'm sorry. But with the mag Magatama, I can unlock your Cyclops, right? Yes. Ah, what should I do? Should I tell you what my secret is? If you would just tell me it would be easier for the both of us. I'm so nervous. Pearls is holding the key to this whole case, I can feel it! Speaking of keys, this one turned out to be quite important too. Didn't think it would literally be the key to today's trial though. Yes, yeah, so there is a second key. Um... Okay, we're gonna have to come back to that. I think. Let's move about the resort. Well, the resort, the shrine. And let's just see if there's anything we can find. It's really empty. Rain was supposed to be held today, but I guess it's already over. Well, maybe it's something to do with the murder that happened here, Phoenix. Looks like Mor- Uh... Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? It looks like she's talking to a picture. Yeah, no. It's her. She's evil. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally! My chance has come! I've waited for this day for so long! Yeah, she's so, again, once again, she's innocent. She's done nothing wrong. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Misty! What in the... Who's there? What a normal thing to say! Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. 
Uh, just curious, but that picture you were just looking at and, uh, doing an evil monologue to. Oh, today was that event, was it not, good sir? I heard you did well. Huh? Oh yes, thank you. I am terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. I had a previous engagement, as I had to watch over the trainee's training today. Yet the sentry really doesn't want to talk about the picture. All because the Master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why a lowly branch family member such as myself must do this. COMMIT MURDER! <laughs> uh, can I get her to talk about the picture? No, that's the... That's the... That's the mirror. I think we've investigated that before. Golden screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. Veteran is fading too. I think I recognize a few of the characters on here. Who I am? Pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it later. I'm just seeing if there's anything new. Uh, here? I don't think there is from investigating. This is where the medium sits, I assume. <laughs> that's also a pile of blood, Phoenix. Meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy looking door. The locking is broken because, well, I broke it. Doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. If you want to do something bad enough, people can do the most amazing things. Like property damage. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. There wasn't anyone back here at the time of the murder. But that's what Lada testified in court. Wait, because there was definitely someone behind it. I'm wondering, because Pearls obviously knows something that she doesn't want to admit. And she got the key. Was it Pearls and Morgan behind there or something like that? No, no, because no, we deduced that the sister was already dressed up. That was already going on. But did Pearls kind of sneak in or something? Maybe. Maybe she wanted to see what Maya was doing because she adores her. You should have taken a look. I can always count on Lada to make things hard. Okay, uh, let's talk. What happened? Do you remember anything about the murder? No, I told you everything. I know already. Were you in this room the whole time Lada and I went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. I performed the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterward. And I said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? Do you remember someone else in costume holding the gun? I would like to say more did. However, that is all that occurred. I was really hoping for some new info. I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. Sorry to have played in your hopes. Possibly be more patronizing. Uh, did the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day after the murder, of course. However, I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training. Mr. Wright. Oh, yes? She, the pupils have disappeared from her eyes again. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Sorry, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? See? She wants Pearl to be treated with the respect that she thinks she deserves. Next question, please. Oh man, she's really being a pain in the butt about this. Please remember to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. Okay, who's the master? The master is Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She's a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed channeling a, a certain spirit. And after that, she dim simply disappeared. Was that... That's not DL6, is it? Because this was like 16, 17. DL6 was 20. This is a different case. I don't believe she will return to this village in any case. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? Hang on. 
A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. What's it about, like, 20 years being the magic number for everything in Japan? Strike it from the record, remove this person. Oh, I see. And that is four years from now for... When that happens, a new master will be appointed to Korean village. And? Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. You see? Here's a motivation! However, with this murder, I'm afraid... I must be imagining things. Thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. <laughs> you foolish attorney. You can never perceive my real motivations. She's not suspicious at all. Um. Okay, what, what do you make of this picture? That is Mystic Maya before I applied the Spirit Severin technique. This picture was taken without my express permission. And you allowing a person like her from the Heartland into our country was a bad idea. Oh, Jesus. You realize that the Heartland is a part of this country, right? Yeah, that is... That's also Mystic Maya. Maya's costume. That is Mystic Maya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame. I never thought anything like that would happen to her. But we don't know that it was Maya that did it. Oh, poor Mystic Maya. Never listen to anyone other than yourself. Okay, she doesn't make anything of some of these. The thing with Japanese law is that it sucks a whole lot. Ace Attorney is actually pretty accurate in the way they just present brand new evidence in the middle of a trial and blame it on random person or accidents. Most commonly if they can't solve a case like this. Is that true? Oh no. DL6 was 16 years ago. Okay, that's fine. Um. Yeah, so I got that wrong with the cases, but I didn't ask to clarify that. That that we could take that as a test for the spoilers potentially. <laughs> so be careful there, right? Unless I ask, like help me, uh, help me chat to explain something. Do not, don't give me anything. Okay. Even if I'm wrong in something, you failed the test. <laughs> yeah, thank you for clarifying it, but unless I say that, unless I say help me chat, I can't stress it enough, do not tell me. Do not tell me anything. Thank you. Okay, uh, is there anything I can ask her about? I'm surprised she doesn't know anything about the Magatama. Uh, anything about the nurse to fold the screen? There are six parts of the Korean sacred writings. To think that this valued treasure of our village and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's even if it was if it was something that occurred during a channel channeling, it is an unforgivable act. But you took part in this. You're complicit in it. What if I show her the key? This. This is the key to this room. That's right. Why do you have it, good sir? That I'm not selling. But she's trying- Oh, maybe I shouldn't have shown it to her. She's trying to take the evidence. Return it at once. I- I can't. It's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to this murder. What is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... Mm, I can't- can't describe it. Okay, yep, that, that that's really important. Okay, pistol. Alright, uh, I've showed her everything. I can present profiles to her. Good sir. Yes. When did you take a hidden picture of Mystic Maya? 
What? Wait, it's not like that at all. It's, this is just like the court case. Do we have like a who's who? It is unforgivable. Why did she slap me? She can't- she makes such a fuss about Maya. And then it's like, well, here's also another picture. Oh yeah, where's my kid at? <laughs> Would you happen to know where she is, good sir? No, I wouldn't. Honestly, take one day off from training and it is nigh impossible to make it up. Good sir, I pray you are not teaching her strange fiendish things in her time off. Oh boy, here comes her anger. Having such a civil conversation, too. Okay, well, Morgan, what do you make of yourself? Being born as one of the Fey family, but a weak spiritual power. It makes the people of this village look down upon you, you know? I didn't know that. But I will be alright. As long as I have Pearl. I am satisfied because I have my Pearl. What do you make of Eeny Miney? My spiritual powers are not as strong as you might think. Like, this is just a person who's staying here. What about Meanie Miney? Meanie Mimi. What, what do you make of Franziska? No, she doesn't have anything to say. Dr. Gray? About this person. Oh, it is that man, is it not? The man who wishes to borrow a departed spirit's power to hide the lack of his own. What an insignificant man. See how pitifully he died. Insignificant? That would mean you are that man's insignificant little friend, dear sir. I guess that makes Maya my insignificant little assistant, huh? A bit harsh on everyone. Does she have anything to say about me, actually? Oh, my. I think I may know this person from somewhere. It's Mia. You know, Maya's older sister. <gasps> ah, yes. That is who she is. Did you forget a daughter of the master? If memory, if memory serves, she became a lawyer. Oh, how splendid for her, don't you think? Soft, kind smile. The kind that tells you a pair of devil horns are not too far away. Don't trust her. Don't trust her. Okay, wind and wait. It's gonna be something here eventually. There is an incinerator right here. Looks like there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Oh. <laughs> it's this, Phoenix. This is important. Really old urn, there are ashes of a per person long dead inside. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting. But time to move on. Okay. Uh, let us go. Side room. Bedden is all laid out today, too. Guess I'll leave him alone for now. Excuse me. Who am I talking to? There's no one here. Can I open the box? Hmm, I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. It looked like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. Mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Phoenix, put two and two together! <laughs> Just open the box! That's strange, that container wasn't there! Until the murder was committed! And we've already deduced, like, there was a different... My Maya was wearing a different pair of robes when the crime took place. This is a gunshot in the sleeve. Well, I'm sure this is all a massive coincidence. Yeah, we still have to interrogate Pearl about her alibi. Uh, let's check the office. Case has had me out of the office most of the time. Came, I can come back tomorrow. Helping Maya should be my top priority now. Okay. Attention center. Maya must still be in questioning. I'll probably be done in a little bit, so I'll come back later. Oh, 
God. Okay, so there's not much I can do. Uh, let's show the key to pearls then. She see if that unlocks anything. But this key pearls. You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where'd you find this? Where you found this key is very important. So please tell me, pearls. Where did you find this? Um, I found it in the incinerator. I knew it. The incinerator. I mean, she's talking about the one in the garden. The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling, when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Nick. Yes? Are you going to tell my mother? Huh? You mean tell... Uh, tell Morgan what you did? Yes. If she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Ah, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then, alright? Mm, the incinerator. Sounds like a good place to search next. Okay. Incinerator time. Abuse. <laughs> Don't hit your kids, please. Come a long way. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Oh, it looks like they've noticed me. And they're now running at top speed towards me. Oh, hey. Like... <laughs> You're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. Oh, like, real suave. So, it's like, my turn? It's nice to see you too. But what's up? You're all out of breath. Like, huh? Oh, like you mean... Like, I'm just totally happy and, like, totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there's so many things to, like, see. It's, like, the real deal here. It's, like, the, like, real, like, deal-like, here-like, like... Oh, really? For example? For example, like, that urn over there. Do you, like, know about it? Like? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Um, what's this suspicious end of a robe that I see coming out of the incinerator? Gee golly, I wonder if you're trying to hide valuable evidence. <laughs> That's right. Girl said she found this key inside the incinerator. Guess I should take a look inside for myself. This. This is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. Tiny bit, but still. Unburned remains found inside the garden incinerator. Small amount of blood is on it. So, someone tried to burn this. And this key was also found in there. And I get the feeling this incinerator played a crucial part in this murder. Would there ever be like a game, like a Phoenix Wright game, with a crime scene that doesn't involve an incinerator used to dispose of evidence in some capacity? It does seem to be reoccurring. <laughs> Okay, sacred urn. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? Like, yeah. It's like this village's treasure. Huh. Didn't know that. And like, it's sealed inside that urn. Um, it's? What are you talking about? Like, you know. Amifei's spirit. Amifei? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith. Get with the program. My, my name's not Smith. Everyone knows the lady that found it the Korean channel and technique was Mystic Emmy. Um, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Fae family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic, huh? That urn is really as important as she says. Could be a vital clue. Um, did the urn break at some point? I am. I am Wash. The wrong way around. It's I mean it's clearly already broken at some point. Genie, <laughs> I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Grace, remember? This is another one. Oh, that one. Like, you should have said so in the first place. 
It was like so many murders that have happened since I came here. Like, there's like a pile of bodies that we've had to dispose of recently. Don't open that box in my room. Like, so like, I totally don't know anything because I was like sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on. What a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah. You only introduced Dr. Gray to Korean Village. No relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Yeah, we already- like, she's involved. She's very clearly involved. Furthermore, your sister who died in that accident was a nurse at his clinic. A yeah, traffic accident. Alright then, why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to do... Something to, like, do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. Oh! The garden's done that thing again where it's like 70s neon vibes. Cyclox! Like, what is it? Looks like I'm going to need to something to pry your mount open on this one. Okay, um... Is there anything else I can investigate? There's a spirit in this urn, huh? All I can see are a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks. Hmm, looks like something's written on it. I am. Oh, weird. It's because the mist... So, the mystic's energy is tied to that urn. It either was broken in malice by Morgan, because she would know that, or in the confusion of the crime, it was then broken. The Ami Fei spirit is sealed in. It's chipped and cracked all over. It definitely broke. Open the box, Phoenix. Open the box. <laughs> Okay, uh, newspaper clipping. Like, I'm really sorry, but, and I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. No, I'm just asking what you know. No, eat, open it up. The key. Uh, okay, well, maybe the rope. He's not even going to tell me anything about the robe? It's very clearly... Wait, I'm going to like have... Oh, wait, the Korean is te challenge technique is real. I'm going to have to like write about it in like my report for school. Hey, so like, you'll give me this picture for like the report, right? No, that's a terrible idea. But that's why she wants it. He's involved. He wants both of Maya's costume. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Okay, uh, go back to Pearls. Uh, oh, actually, wait, we can, we can go back to Pearls. We can also talk to, to Morgan. Uh, charitable coffee maker, thank you for the tier tree. Thank you very much. As back, thank you for 500 bits. Uh, climate change, given 500 bits. Uh, thanks very much, climate change. Happy to have you here. Supporting what I do. Okay. What do you think about this? I'm amazed she doesn't have anything to say about that, considering that's like trying to dispose of evidence. Or the urn. Okay, something's gotta do it for pearls here. I'm sure it's helpful to you in some way. I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Didn't have shown you something so trivial anyway? I, I don't think that's a, that's too trivial, Phoenix. That's very important evidence for the case. I 
anything to make of either of these. Second thought showing her this picture might cause severe trauma. <laughs> what do you what do you make of this dead person, Pearl? That that's Mystic Bias. Like I shouldn't have showed her something this violent. Oh yeah, I can't I can't show her like a picture of the dead guy, but like the, the clothes covered in blood. It's fine. Is that blood? Um it's nothing, really. Forget you ever saw this, okay? Sleep well tonight, little girl. What was I thinking? I can't show stuff like this to a child. Pearl, what do you make of this knife? I've seen this knife before. Really? Where? My kitchen. Oh, that's right. This knife belongs to the face. I'll skin and cut up some apples for you later, Mr. Nick. Okay, thanks. Alright, so Pearl's knife was found at the crime scene. All the evidence points towards her. Did you see the gun, Pearl? What do you make of the fact that he was stabbed in the chest and shot point blank, Pearl? Got this key, Pearls. Found on the day of the murder, right? Yes. And where'd you find this key is very important. No, we had that one before. That was after the channeling. And then don't tell mother. Yeah, I wonder if I can talk to her again about this. Maybe I can present something. I'm sorry. Magatam, I can unlock your Cyclox. Pearls is holding the key to this whole case. Um. I don't know. Oh, I present this, isn't it? There we go. This is how you use it. Okay. Pearl's alibi. Oh. I'm not doing too well in the case. Pearl, you have to tell me what you're doing when the murder happened, okay? It's not letting me save it right now. Uh, but what if I can't just... What, what if I can't just tell you what happened? Now well, guess what happened. How does that sound? What? You can do that! Tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Yes. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? I can't save it. Um, so we get one shot at this. Phoenix just fucking dies. Uh... She was in the winding way, wasn't she? You know what, let's back out and save. We can do that. Okay. Save it. Where were you on the night of the murder, Pearl? I know you did it. Murder was taking place, you were here, right? I actually, I'm actually not sure where she was. I, She could have been in the channeling chamber. There's, a ch there's two lines. I think she's either in the wine and way of the side room, or she's in the room itself. I think she was in the room. I'm pretty smart, Pearls. I know you were right here. No, I wasn't. Huh? I'm wrong! Mr. Nick, if you push yourself anymore, your soul will shatter. 
Please calm down, collect your thoughts, and try again. My soul will shatter. Can I just not do it again? <laughs> it's even worse! Alright, let's find out what happens if my soul, like, is destroyed in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way. Wow, you got it. So do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry. Not yet. Man, oh man. Alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing here. Do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. And what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? My soul will shatter. Um... I don't think she was hiding the clock scrap. She had the key. So? Uh oh. My soul! You are a lawyer, but you're also just a person. Mr. Nick. Push yourself anymore, your soul will shatter. Can I just keep going? Soul shatter and speed run. Yeah, it, it hangs in there. Okay, I just gotta go out of it every time. He's okay! You have to tell me what you're doing when the murder happened. Okay, you're in the winding way. Pearls was doing in the winding way. Was she did she break the urn? No, she's not talking. <laughs> Nick's soul is in trouble. We gotta keep pushing. Like, she's our only lead right now, so we have to follow this through. Phoenix just gets raptured. He's not long for the world after this case. What was it Pearls was doing? It's not... Did I try to clot? I don't think I did. No, she feels better again. I gotta keep pushing on. At the risk of my very being. Yeah, she was in the winding way. Well, what was she doing? I thought it would have been something to do with the key. What was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? Um... Not that. Not the Magatama. Not the map. Golden screen? No. It's not the key. I'm surprised it's not the key. Crime scene, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be the autopsy. She didn't have the gun. 
She reacted to the knife before. I don't I don't think it would be the knife here. No. We gotta keep going! Phoenix's soul is just a little plastic bag full of dust at this point. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's probably not doing too well. He has died like seven times. What was it Pearls was doing in the wine ways? There are profiles. Amy Faye is a profile now. Maybe? I feel just a bit better. No. Poor Phoenix, he's going on a soul crushing journey. I'll do it one more time, and if I don't get it this time, I'm just gonna assume I don't have everything I need. Phoenix's soul is shattered worse than an iPhone screen at this point. I mean, his soul has been destroyed four times, so it's probably still not on par with an iPhone. Or at least the average one. Were you meeting with Morgan? No? I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe... I, I, I have the profile actually for Amy Faye now, I didn't realize that before. Maybe I can present that to Morgan. Profiles. What do you think about this? No. God damn, there's like a few of them. He doesn't make anything of the evidence. What do you know about this person? I'm like, sorry, but it's totally like time for my nap. Oh no. And I like, totally don't care about that person anyway. You're great help. Sorry, I don't know who this person is. Does it make sense? You've never left Karain Village. What? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. I just really don't know anyone outside the... This person's in the village. He's here. Maya out of detention. Oh, thank God. Hey, Nick. I've been waiting. He looks so helpless. So, so... How was it? What did you find out? Um, well, I found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look me in the eye? <laughs> I... I just need a little more time. I'll come together by tomorrow, I promise. Maya, we gotta talk about you murdering people. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. Okay, maybe we can get a lead here. How was it today's trial, I mean? You were fantastic, Nick. Every time I saw our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. 
I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Don't be silly. Everyone knows that the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney an anime has had notorious budget difficulties. The quality of animation varies wildly from episode to episode. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're going to win this, Maya. Thanks a lot, really. Hey, Nick? The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Uh, full disclaimer for that joke, I watched a little bit of the anime. Um, just because uh, I was curious. And it's, uh, it basically just follows the games from what I can tell. So I watched like some of the episodes related to the first one. Um, it's like the most dramatic pointing of fingers you'll ever see. Like, air flies in the courtroom, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, but it also just looks kind of jank sometimes. <laughs> the little airbenders. No, they are. Like, they really are. Like, Phoenix will point, like, his finger, and it's like people fly across the room. Like, it's actually insane. <laughs> There's, like, one scene where Edward's literally just, like, holding onto his desk. The voice actors are really fucking good. Like, I will give that credit where it's due. Um... But the animation itself, at least for the episodes I saw, are like a bit iffy. Is how I would describe it. Voice actor is fucking amazing though. Hey, well, I'll check behind the folding screen. Um, I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Hmm, that's exactly what Lada said too. Who is. <laughs> were you Pearl's alibi? Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. My sis, what did she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it, wait then, then, I really am? You are not the real murderer. I think that maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Gray. Yes. That's exactly right. Well, can we can we cut back to Morgan just like laughing maniacally to herself in the channeling room? That's that's What do you know about Pearl's alibi? <laughs> Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I wanna know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Wait, Nick. You don't think she did it, do you? We can't rule out any suspects at this point, Maya. No, nothing like that. You'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never. She's a great kid. And really cute. And really great. And cute. Did I mention she was great? She's a cute kid. A great cute kid. I didn't really think she was the murderer. But, she's definitely hiding something. Hmm. You were with her on that day, right? Yeah, the two of us. We were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? That's like a dead end to me. What about the ball? So about this ball. It's nothing really special. Just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball, huh? She broke the urn! When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. Oh, we have reason to open it. Clothing box? Yeah, Pearly's always hiding in there. You know, the side room. The clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what, I, what I'm talking about. Clothing box in the side room, huh? Perfect. Perfect, that's everything we need to know. Uh, also, are you hiding any secrets? Nothing special about your own Magatama. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, hey, you want to see what you look like when you're possessed, Maya? <laughs> this is me, right? I guess I really did shoot Dr. Gray. That's not you. Is too. Is not. 
is two is two is not. Okay, see you for court tomorrow. I think we got a strong case now. That's Karain's sacred urn. Mystic Ami's soul is sealed inside it. Yeah, I know all about it. But how she's the founder of the Karain technique. Oh, look at Mr. Smarty here. I think he knows all. He sounds like an occult fanatic. Trust me, this isn't going on my resume anytime soon. You know, I haven't looked at this in a long time. I wonder when it became so cracked. A cloth scrap. What is it? I'm not too sure myself. I found it just now inside the furnace. Huh? It's a trash burning day already. Not something I would know about. If she didn't notice the blood stain. <laughs> Probably better that way. Maybe I could ask her about the blood stain. Maybe that would be important. Okay, let's go back to the village. Oh, Lot is here too now. Ah! Ah! Hey, wait, please, Lotta! She ran off into the manor. Wait, where's she going? What's she doing? Lotta. Ah! I'm telling you, quit following me, eh? I'm a worthless piece of trash. Y'all lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Uh, uh, there she goes. Have you seen Lotta? The box. The box. Open the box. Pretty sure I saw Lotta run in this direction. It doesn't look like she's here. Oh, it, it's, it's, here's the ball. Steel samurai ball. Pearl's ball. Maya said it's always kept in the clothing box. Loden, what is it doing on the floor? Pearl's ball taken. Pearl's favorite toy she was playing with at the time of the murder, it seems. The clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. I wonder what's inside. Ah! What? Lotta? What, what were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another piece of human trash. I need a hole to crawl into. Did he crawl in this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh man, huh? Wait, is, is Lotta fucking complicit? Small hole in this clothing box. And it's about eight inches off the ground. That's the same height as the hole in the folding screen. Think of this. Loading box added to the court record. Oh shit, the bullet passed through this as well. The box did it. Oh my god, the box is the murderer. It wanted to be a coffin. So it made its own body. <laughs> oh, Mr. Nick, a person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair. Ah, she means Lada. She said, she said, don't look at me with them eyes. But I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. She's just running away? Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, Lotta looks guilty as shit all of a sudden. Um... I found her ball. This is your ball, Pearl. Shouldn't have shown you something so trivial. This is your favorite toy. I'm amazed that doesn't have a line of dialogue associated with it. Absolutely amazed. OK, 
Okay, but we have this for the Magatamina. My ball, what is that? <laughs> Okay. Our soul's not shattering this time. You're in the winding way. It's like I'm playing a game with Cluedo. It was Pearl in the winding way with the small ball. She killed Mr. Body. Okay, what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? He was playing with us at the time of the murder. You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, that's right. How, how did you know? Maya told me you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh, and then... Something happened, huh? Something really bad. Gulp. What, what do you mean, something? N -n -n nothing bad happened. Is it? While you were playing with your ball, this happened. She broke the urn. Oh, and she put it back together wrong. This urn, it's a village treasure, right? Ah, um, and the spirit of the founder of the Korean technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Yes. What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? You've unleashed a deadly curse upon this land. The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? Doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. It's the really old urn, isn't it? I guess? It's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Your voice is shaken. How can you tell that urn has been broken? Well, it's misspelt for one. We're just show- Look at the urn again. What?! How is that not it? It- It's- it's clearly been put back together, but wrong! How is that not it? The kid is fighting back. Okay, well, let's try it again. It's not going easy. Okay, winding away. He was playing with the ball. I do have the profile for A for Amy Faye, so we can try that. Okay, something bad happened. That was the urn. He's crushing what's left of your soul. Okay. How can you tell that the urn has been broken? Uh, Amy Faye. Okay, right, so I solved it, but not the way the game thought. Not the way the game wanted me to. Who started the Korean channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it was Mystic and me. That's right. And do you know how- and how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. I've caught you red-handed! It's spelled A-M-I. <gasps> Take her away, officer. Thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. That's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn. 
Made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. Unlock successful. I restored my soul by doing that. Okay, who's your alibi, Pearl? Around when Mystic Maya started the channel on that day, I was playing in the winding way with my ball. That's when you broke the urn. Yes, I broke it. I accidentally let Mystic Amid's spirit fly away. Don't worry, Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a bad child. Oh my god. Breaking the village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces are pretty big, so... I thought you could put them back together and no one would notice. Yes. Sacred urn. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway. And fixed the urn there. The hallway, you mean wide and white? Yes. Catelyn had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things. When it comes to arts and crafts, I am not nearly as skilled. And I finished fixing the urn and looked up. I saw you coming into the manor. That's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after... After reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um... Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm going to get banished, aren't I? Oh, don't worry, it's only, uh, property damage in most of these cases. You probably get off easy with just, uh, minimum six months, Pearls. See you when you're nine. Really don't- I really don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I bet Mr. G I mean, he's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I'm done and a happy resolution. You! It's just a priceless antique. They broke by Pearl right before the murder, under repair in the hallway until police came. Okay, so so that is something new. We gonna rat her out? <laughs> hey, Morgan! Yes, what is it? Why must you be so noisy? We have a rule here. The hallway is not for running. Now, in a calm manner, ask your question. Okay, anyway, did you see Lotta come by here? Also, do you want to have a look at this urn? Jesus, Pearls did a fucking number on it. She can't spell, you know, I thought she'd be better at it considering she's eight by now. Ah, that girl from the Heartland. I'm sorry, but she did not pass by here any time. A lot of you sure know how to waste a man's time. What happens if I present it? What do you think about this? No, she, she doesn't care. The box. I know about the box. The game won't let you snitch. It seems that way, yeah. The box. The ball. The new urn. You know, any... Any is tough on the crack. We gotta find Lotta? Ooh, I think I found out everything I can. But I can't see how it all adds up. Hmm. E? E. And is Eeny Miny being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is it that the spirit Dr. Grey wanted to call just happened to be that nurse? That nurse turns out to be Eeny's sister. Too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. Wish I knew a little more about Innie, but where am I going to find info like that? Forever be a mystery. If only there was someone trying to convey an important piece of information in this present moment. Oh, I get it. You can't be bo- You can't be bothered to look over a trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah, Lotta. Also, you finally notice. Thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my- <laughs> That's a harsh insult. Oh, you're not a mosquito? Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of one around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, 
you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What, what are you going on about? That's for following or chasing or whatever it is. Isn't that what you're doing? Uh, well, you see... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are ya? Not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. <laughs> there's something, in, there's an image in my head now, just Phoenix right going, Don't go there, sis! Nuh-uh! Pull up, gal pal! <laughs> uh, today's trial. Well, I'm real dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about some, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, it. Ah, uh, I don't suppose you could forgive a gal like me? Don't forgive her. No, forgive her. Oh, is she on the run in that and thinks she's garbage because of her picture? Maybe that's it. And because of the key. Because it pointed the finger at Maya. That's what she's feeling guilt about. Okay. I don't think she's actually implicated in the crime. Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out too, after all. Ah, for real? Yeah, for real. Ah, thank goodness. I'm still... I'm still what? Not, not, nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. Now then, a lot of heart at your service. I'll share with y'all uh, the dirt I've dug up. Thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I'll even give you all this info for free. I do not taking money. Now I know this one's an alien clone. When is wait? No, Phoenix. When has she ever charged you for something? She's never charged you for anything, and she's helped you in two cases now. Murderer. Maya's not the real murderer, then. Who do you think it is, Lada? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? That's not a cult freak. Yeah, it is obvious. You mean any Miney? No, Morgan. Well, there ain't every, anyone else it could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. But no, they were, they were in on it. They were in on it. Morgan was with us, but she's the one who set some of this up. She was laughing maniacally. You might find out some info about our mysterious Innie. Uh, let me just shatter your mind quickly. No, I can't do that. Okay, what about the box, Lotta? What about the ball? What about the vase? Okay, what about the incinerator piece, piece of cloth? What about your pictures? I'm a real natural, aren't I? That doesn't help. I caught the murder just right and even managed to make it mysterious. Mysterious? All you managed to do is focus, forget to focus your lens. I shut up. That's my technique. My technique now, you hear? Okay, uh, she knows about stuff about Eni? About this clipping. Now you listen here, boy, and listen good. You can't go looking at such an old piece of paper, you hear? People's got eyes on the front side. You know why? So they can see in front of themselves, not behind. So how about it? You feeling my energy? Nope. Not an electron. <laughs> what about the other clipping? No, she's gonna... Let's say the same thing. The key? She hasn't helped me at all. She hasn't helped me one bit with anything here. What if I go back to Maya? Oh, Mia's here now. Mia! Phoenix, it's good to see you. I was really worried, so I thought I'd see how you were doing. I might get caught in film again. There are certain risks you have to take in life. Or in my case, death. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, how are you? I forget you're dead sometimes, Mia. Uh, only a little. I think I'm slowly beginning to understand everything piece by piece. Everything will resolve itself by tomorrow, somehow. This guard is freaking out right now. 
tomorrow's trial. There's a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gotten into that room before the channeling. Yeah, so Eni was hiding in the back. That's what I think, in any case. Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. Terrain channeling technique. I never thought I'd see this day. Are you actually asking me this about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you call. It's something our ancestor, Mystic Ami Fae, required. I've heard that name before. The Fae family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, uh, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, it was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Uh, Amitava? How, how would you pronounce that? Amitava? Is that right? Amitava? To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Korean sacred urn. And will forever remain that way, unless a small child with a small rubber ball will do something terrible and desecrate a sacred artifact. Usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Uh, yeah. Come on, Phoenix. Just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Well, it's about time I left. Mia! We'll be in big trouble if the guard sees me here. <laughs> I think... I think he already has. He, he's not looking too good. Phoenix. Yes, Chief. There's still a lot of dirt left in this case. Once you think you've gathered all the evidence, come back. Yes, Chief. Wait, she wasn't even possessing anyone that time. Maya's not even here, she's just an independent ghost. How's the guard doing? No, he... He's just kinda out of it. Anything in the office? I don't think I have anything new. Uh, why doesn't Pearl react to that at all? Morgan's gone. Uh, do you react to the box? You even react to the Magatana. Oh, you do react there! Okay. We can get her to talk about the traffic accident. Okay. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. And he just asks, who's accident? That... That actually is quite significant, which means... You must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Uh... I mean, I guess Dr. Gray. Oh wow, so like that person had a car accident too? You can't tell me you don't know. Like, how would I know if that person like had an accident? Oh. What, that, that's literally the person who died. How, how does... It... 
How does she not know? It's literally Dr. Gray! Someone else who had a traffic accident. But that's just- there's only your sister at the moment. Like, that's it. That's it. Was she saying that? That's your sister! That's your sister! Pearl? Pearl broke the urn is what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't. Is that a person's accident? Like you got someone in mind? I have no idea who this could be. This newspaper clipping? Oh my god, Eni, these are things you know! I don't... What am I missing? It's not that. Another accident. I, I don't understand it. I'm looking at the profiles. I'm thinking, okay, it's not him. Maya doesn't really make sense. Me doesn't really make sense. Gumshoe doesn't really make sense. It's not Pearl for some reason. Morgan wouldn't really make sense. I could present her. Like, do I just present her to her? Does that do anything? Take that! Really? <laughs> okay, right. Here is a photo of yourself. Now tell me what you know. My god, it's... I wanted to ask about your own car accident. M me Yes. So wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? I have this newspaper clipping. That doesn't say that she was there, though. That doesn't say she was there. This isn't the car crash. This isn't relating to that. Is it this one? Here's your proof. Her name isn't mentioned in the newspaper article. Okay. 
They just, they just didn't report that one. Is there anything else I can do? Splendid garden. Lotta said she had something and then just proceeded to not tell me. Didn't she? All the dirt I've dug up. Hey, yeah, where's the dirt? Where's the dirt? Oh, is it gonna be... Okay, right. I'm, I'm gonna be... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of upset by that. Because that's... That's, that's like... That's like a King's Quest game style of point and click. Like, well, you didn't use the object, so how was she supposed to know? Like, for fuck's sake. Just tell me. She says she's going to tell me. Like, that's throwing me for a complete loop. But you didn't use the object on the person. This person wants the key. Talk to person. Now, can I, will you open the door? But you didn't use the key on the person. Now you gotta use the person's arm on the door. Now you gotta turn the person's hand in the key. Like. Oh, that's any minor, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this girl, like you just said two minutes ago. Yeah, no? Actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I heard as much. I also heard that Eni was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Karain Village. Yeah, I don't say. That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Yes! I do. This, like, this, 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 this is what should have come up. <laughs> Speaking of Eni, do you have any information about her? Uh, I do have information about Eni. You want me to tell her? Yes, that would be wonderful. Well, I do have some information here. We should talk about it sometime. That would be great if you tell me the information you know about Eni. Well, that's just as well, because I have some information about Eni I could tell you. Fantastic. Please tell me. Uh Sure. Well, what is it? Ha ha ha, it'll You just said it won't cost me. <laughs> that girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized, but why? Well heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find out something. Maybe, what's that supposed to mean? Well, see, actually, I was gonna be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Okay, thanks, Lotta. Okay. Spool gumbo. No, I... I'm going to the clinic. Is it the Hoti Clinic? So let's, let's just go. Let's go. But this is where Eni was hospitalized. This is a new character. Um, are you here? To, I don't know what voice this guy would have. It's magical, John. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do Magical John voice. Yes! Are you here to visit a patient? Ah, uh, yes, are you a doctor here? Um, yes. I'm Dr. Hoshi. Ho, ho. I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Mm, yes! So what can I help you with? 
I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Eeny Miney. Hmm? Miss Miney? Miss Eeny Miney? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Oh! Her! Ah, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. That girl left here a long time ago. Here you are, sir. Oh? You know you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. But, ah, sweetums. Calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh to an old man like me. Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. If you don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of the ho this hospital. I think that... I didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful towards their boss. Well, the damn right should well be, Phoenix. See, this man's sexually harassing her. Come now, be a good boy and give me the director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Mm, yes. Um. Mm, yes, uh. This isn't the doctor, is it? Oh, this is just a patient here. I'm Director Hoti. Ho oh, oh. ho. Nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. Only person I can talk to is this guy. Uh, this is the only person I can talk to. He is not the director. This is the clinic reception desk, but it doesn't look like there's anyone at the counter. On the wall is this month's words to the wise. Do something in vain. Your only reward is tiredness. Oh no. You try and don't succeed? Well, you wasted your fucking time, didn't you? Not exactly the best thing to be telling your patients, is it? The patient is undergoing rehabilitation. Look at that. Strained face twisting all those ways. That oily sweat. Whole body is swaying. Back and forth. Wobble wobble like he's about to fall. Don't just cut into my monologue like that. I'm explaining things there. Ah, sorry, sorry. Mm, yes, most sorry. Must be the waiting area. At the field of one, there are sofas lined up. I don't see all that many patients. Mm, yes, well, it's the quality, not quantity, that counts. What in the world do I have to do with anything? Uh, okay. wonder where that door that way down there leads to. Oh, that's the x-ray room. Yes. How did you know what I was thinking? Oh, uh, yes. Well, it's... As that's the x-ray room. Ah, uh, yes. I'm very peculiar about this guy because I know it's not me. God, this guy is really giving me Stranger Danger vibes. I don't like him. So, what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Ah, uh, yes. We treat all sorts of... Uh, Doctory clinical stuff, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> like, this is not a reliable witness, nor is this going to be, like, reliable testimony. Like, surely Phoenix should go to reception. It's like, excuse me. Uh, like, I, I, I'm working on, like, a case here. There's been a murder. I need to speak to someone. It's quite urgent. I don't actually know particularly care about the details. Ah, yes. What is that you're looking for? Ah, yes. There's a really big general hospital around this corner. And they can't accommodate everyone. They move some of their patients here. The surgery's here, right? Ah, uh, yes. We do some plastic surgery here, it seems. It seems? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it seems that way. What do you know about Miss Eeny Mine? I don't like this face he's given. How are you talking? Um, yes. That girl, she was transferred from the general hospital. From the general, from the general hospital to here. What kind of surgery did she need? Ah, uh, yes, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad, really bad. So what kind was it? Ah, uh, yes, well, no, no. You see, that is something. No, I can't tell you. Stay with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. And all those TV shows too, right? Seen, right? Hmm? Yes. 
I think we're going to get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth of his at any rate. Gotta be something I can show to this old coot. Uh... I, I got something, didn't I? Did Lada not give me the fucking thing? Well, you didn't use the receive item! Uh, command on me, so you know, I, I didn't hand it over. Uh, you gotta ask me for with the dialogue option. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> uh, use the raise your hand dialogue option. And then it's just three more dialogue threes. Threes. Eeny, please. Mercini is really cute in this picture, you'd agree, right? I wish I could see her again. Maybe the next time she has a big accident. Tell her. I'll tell her for you. I hate this man. Hey, Mimi Mine. About this person. Mm -hmm. I feel like somewhere. I've seen her somewhere before, I think. Hmm. Well, when she comes tomorrow for a consultation, I'm sure we can get reacquainted. I don't believe this. Do you know Dr. Gray? <coughs> Excuse me. Um. The malpractice? No. If I had more attractive items. I unlock your mind. No. Here's a bloody knife, Doctor. You want a handgun? An autopsy report? Uh, Bo Penny, thank you for the 10 quid. So happy you're playing Ace Attorney 2. The first game got me into watching your full streams. I want to say thanks. Your videos really helped me through some dark times. Also, how are you liking Von Karma 2 with Boogaloo? The sequel to Von Karma is quite menacing. It has her father's anger. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what to do here. Picture taken at the murder scene. Uh, okay. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Nice and exciting. What do you think? Does anything grab your attention? No one's saying this is nice. Yes, I like. I like this picture. Yes, mind if I borrow this for a while? For private research purposes. Uh, that's okay. I don't think I should be handing over the evidence. What does he think of my badge? Oh, what's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. Oh, yeah, yes. What is with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow. I would really like some information from you. Oh my god, did the badge fucking work? Is that right? Oh, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Hmm, yes, actually. I'm not the real direct. <laughs> you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. Uh, what do you mean? I have to explain this to him. Um, hold on, I'll give you something. Real information, okay? I'm actually this clinic, see? I'm like this place's... Walkin' Dictionpedia? I mean walkin' Encyclopedia. Yeah, slash. My specialty is in young... Silky smooth, haughty patients. That's menacing. There's nothing I don't know about them. But I get embarrassed talking about them. Yeah, how about you keep that kind of information to yourself? Oh, ho, ho. Anyway, you want to know about little Miss Eeny Miney, right? Little Miss Eeny Miney. That girl. I remember her especially well. Really, especially. Very well. Will you talk about her? Please tell me what you know about Eeny Miney in as few words as possible before I punch you in the face. Yes, I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. 
That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the general hospital. This was, hmm, yes. A year ago. It was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? Nah, nah. She was injured, not ill. My trained eye, I could see. I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury? Her whole body was... Her whole body was wrapped around her. Round in bandages, and her arm was in a cast. Sounds pretty severe, alright? Ah, uh, yes. It was an accident. An accident. It was scary, yes? Cars, hmm. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yeah, that's what gave her those terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers. Yes, I looked it all up. It was terrible. Yes. Even that's what is wrong with this old guy. Hey, just now, you mentioned something about a big operation. Oh, you're talking about Miss Eni's operation. Yes, Miss Eni's. Ah, ha. Ah, that was one heck of an accident. Ah, yes, her whole face was burnt like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? I mean, it's a fucking car crash, Phoenix. Well, it's a good thing that Miss Eni had a picture of herself. I heard that picture was how they put her face back together. Picture? That girl, see? He had a... He had just gotten her license. He just happened to have a license photo on her. Oh. Well, see, I got her picture. The way to remember her, yes? More like swiped. Breach of ethics, oh wait. What, what, a pretty... Pretty girl like her. But she has a lot of nice pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. Oh my god, wait, is it gonna be... Are we going the extreme end where the doctor reconstructed her face, but in her sister's likeness? So that she could perfectly impersonate the possessed sister. Oh god, it's coming together. What happened to the actual license itself? Oh no, so I didn't bother to ask. Probably got burned up along with the car. No, no, her license photo is actually in his face, though. It does seem to be right. Freaky Friday! <laughs> oh my god, it's Nicolas Cage! <laughs> He's in Innie's body right now. They've swapped places. They're the accident. Oh, that's Face Off, yeah. Ah, same movie. Ah, uh, so you looked up information on Diddy's accident, correct? Yep, oh, yep, sure did. Yes, I read every paper that covered at the time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Uh, yes, hold on. Go get it for you, the article, I mean. Huh? You have it? Oh, well, don't get me wrong. I thought something might come up, so... Obsessed with the max. Maybe I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, here we go, here we go, yes, sir. According to this, Missini was in the passenger seat. Passenger seat, huh? And dozing, so it says. St Str a strong jolt woke her up. The next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Then he fought with the door, finally got it to open. Someone managed to get away. Anyway, you can read all about the details in the article. The article's about the car accident. New clue, I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Miss Eni had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Ah, uh, yes. How was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Yes. Uh, sure, thanks. Well, I'll be getting back to my room, then. Tell Miss Eni I said hi, okay? I will not be telling her that. Time for me to leave, too. Get, get out of here. Get out of here, go back to the village. He was creepier than Magical John, somehow. Bo Penny, thank you for another five quid. The badge finally did a thing. I'm as surprised as the rest of you. So how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. Oh wait, that was Phoenix. I guess I got a real sudden accent since coming back from the clinic, Lotta. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell. Things are sure getting interesting. Ah, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in or not. 
So I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master's secret and controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into. A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on. What? That stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Ah, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. That's something about stealing the master's seat. Yeah. Right now, the master is, is this medium named Misty Faye, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master. This is their motivation. You know where Innie is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around that garden in the middle. Hey, thanks. I got some to ask her. Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. Well, I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Oh. They said the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. And to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. He warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. See, this made the townsfolk turns ag turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like, She's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. I had no idea. So, what would have hap happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the branch family, I reckon. Motivation. Getting it. Here's a license photo. Okay. Wait, did I get the clippings? Articles about the car accident. Okay, there's a few now. Late last night, two women's car crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Miss Innie Miney holds interview about crash. Oh my god. I was like, totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like, I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like, still half asleep, but I opened the right door and like, got out. I don't like, remember anything else. Your sister died and that's all you have to say? You're not even sad? Doctor looking in the shadows, and Miss Eeny Miney is to believe the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi Miney was a nurse at the Great Surgical cl Clinic. Fourteen patients were accidentally overdosed at her death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Uh, okay. Let's keep going. Gotta track down the gang. Uh, they were Winding Way Garden. I'm gonna take this chance just to have a quick sip of water. Get that in. Everyone holding up okay? Excuse me. Is this, is the light like carry on as a, a, a side effect of the accident? Or is that just a personality? <laughs> it's like she spoke normally before the car crash. And it's, it's like, like, she was, like, the doctors, like, kind of did their best where it's like, talking to her family after, I'm so sorry. There's only so much we could do. Her voice is forever stuck like this now. So, like, totally happy to see you again. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, your sister's dead. Like, yeah, we're just, she's just gonna gloss over that as well. This entire time in the report. Just not acknowledging that bit. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, there's a reason. Yeah, I have enough to find and unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look in your face? Oh, okay. Break her soul. Okay. 
It's only about the accident. Sister's accident. So we know about this already. Who's accident? Okay. Profile. It's you. Your own car accident. We glossed through this. Can you, like, prove I was in an accident? Dr. Ho Hoshi pur purported. Wait, this is just her driver license. Oh, but it does prove, because the doctor kept it. Here is your proof. How is that not it? Oh no, I have I have the other I have the expanded newspaper clippings. That's right. Okay, do it again. Okay, so power on through. Tell me about your accident. Prove it. Take, Take a look at this. It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury, had to be admitted to the hospital, correct? Like, wait. What now? That, that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person is like the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Inny Miney, is like pretty common. What in the world are you babble about? Your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here too. Like, totally wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting like goosebumps. <laughs> My god. So, like, now what? Uh, like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Um... Scary Man's Report. Um, like, you shouldn't throw, like, truffling things around, you know? Ruffling. Rifling, maybe. So... You're the worst, Eeny Miney. How, how is that not it? We talked to the doctor. Is it specifically the license? Sometimes it makes you go, like, snail's pace crawl. And then other times it feels like it's skipping steps. Ugh. This case is frustrating me. This case is really frustrating me compared to the other ones. Like, it just feels there's a lot of unnecessary tedium when they could have just streamlined it. Not as bad as the, the back and forth that we had, I think, in the final case of the first game. Uh, cause that, that one was kind of like, that was a rough one. When we had to keep going between like five places like, constantly. I don't think anything is compared to that little bit of that game. Um. But, like, it's just slowing down the game. The license. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. The mentor of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. How would you not notice your license being stolen? 
Because you need that. That creepy fake director. Now you're ready to tell me about the accident. Like, wait a sec. Okay, so like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? And? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman that died in an accident could be? I mean... Th I mean, this one's pretty cut, clear cut. Deceased died in a car accident. If the game was just like... Oh, I... Who is this person? I've never seen them. Like, wow, why are you showing me this person? I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi? You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. Two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. You got through it or... Okay, talk to me. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then, like, it happened. At the time, I grabbed from my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Dr. Gray. Did Dr. Gray really caused an accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills. Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. Does it give any a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray? Haha, <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But, it will be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. Did, did, did she just admit it? Alright, case closed. Uh, just... I'm like, not guilty. But you'll never catch me. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I like totally killed her. Can I present anything? Can I use the Magatama again? Are we just gonna drop that tidbit there? We're not gonna follow that up. We're not going to address that she's saying, you'll never catch me. And... Would you take a look at this? Hey, it's like one of those little badges people in Congress all wear. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. Lawyer. Like, so is that what you are? What? I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all. We're just not following that up. There's no way for me to follow this up. Are we seriously just ignoring that she admitted to the crime? Guess I'll go home. You're like, never gonna catch me? I'm, we're seriously ignoring that. She just admitted it. Looks like something's up. 
Stop, stop, leave my mother alone. Oh, hey, oh, oh, hold on, pal. Okay, pal, I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly all right. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please, let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the, the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. <laughs> don't show a child a handgun. Don't give a child a handgun. What the fuck is wrong with you, Gumshoe? Don't give a kid a gun. Oh, sorry. What the fuck? Poor Gumshoe being dragged off the air by that, like that by Morgan. Mother. It's okay, Maya. Here, you want a present? Here's the pistol. <laughs> Mother. This has never happened before. Girls. Mr. Nick. A really bad feeling I can't shake. I think something really bad is gonna happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. I'll say something, Phoenix. Anything. I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about what about Mystic Maya? It'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. There's really Pearson. Okay, Pearl, do you know how to use the microwave for dinner tonight? I don't know if this is safe in the slightest. I'm also just gonna leave you with the person who said you'll never convict me for the murder. That's a bad parent. The only person to look after is like also in on the killing. Well, see you later. Have a good life, Pearl. What remains of it? Get me waiting, Phoenix. Mia. So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few Cyclops of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. Gotta get it from her. Okay, come on. Nope. The murderer. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Here we go. Why? Why do you think so? It's really trying at times to be- Trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, battle of wits against Mia. Okay. Give it an all save. This entire time as well, I know that Von Karma has been preparing some bullshittery that I'm gonna have to encounter in court. Phoenix has to work for his clients. Phoenix, I think I'm hiding information about someone from you. Isn't that right? Yes. Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. Would it be... I think it's Maya or Pearl. Maya, I mean, is the most likely. No. Pearl. Is it Morgan? Morgan? Morgan Fay, of course. 
That's right, you don't give a shit about your sister. There was no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Well done, but while the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. But why is Mia doing this? If she knows that Morgan did it. Like, Maya's life is at, at stake. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Um. I mean, there's a lot. But I don't know what the game's gonna want. The key. My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. There's only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya. Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? It could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after? Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it into the incinerator. But that's... That prosecutor would use something this small to shred your case. You have something other than just the key to cast suspicion on Morgan. Uh... Yeah, there's a clot scrap at the incinerator. This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may have been not even be from Maya's costume. This is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both the sleeve and this piece of clot were found inside the incinerator. Okay, I kind of get that with the key. So yeah, she, so she had it on a person. I mean, this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. I think I get it. When Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed into her clo changed her clothes. Changed her clothes, but why? I don't know why. But, there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt is an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But, I want you to know, my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Uh... Shit, we're real close on this. Oh. It's who or what? Who or what? Oh! No! We know this! They work together! Eeny Miney. This is the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny Miney were in cahoots! I, I have, like, called this from, like, the first half hour of this case. I know it's been a while since we've played. But I called it back then. Okay, the murderer. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Faye Matter and the village itself to do this. Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. You can assume that any money is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. Problem? Or what? We don't have a motive. Why would... 
We do have a motive. He wants to take over the estate. Um, so they gotta get Maya out of the picture. Yeah, we, we have a very clear motive. Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Amy. We kinda do. Amy did say, I'd like to see you, like, prove it. Like, I'd like you to catch me. He doesn't have a clue either, huh? And then, there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Uh, because? Mutter. He's the one who holds the key to this. Mutter. Who's my... Phoenix, focus! Don't be silly, mine, of course. Misty Fay. Mia and Maya's mother. Why would you bring her up now? Now then. Looks like we've got it everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. To be continued. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's trial day. Um, Nick. Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me. Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself. She's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Uh, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Phoenix, you should say that out loud. That might boost a little thing called self-esteem. Good morning. Two of you look like you're doing well today. Happy for you two. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls, uh, about your mother. Uh, she might be the killer. Yes, Mr. Nick? Uh, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I'm sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again! Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? <laughs> the entire case hinges on this eight-year-old girl to channel the spirits of the dead. Uh, Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. Leave you two to your alone time. Thank goodness. Nick? This way. This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Oh, God. Okay, that's actually kind of sweet. That's a sad reason for it. Yeah, we're not just asking for help. We're trying to protect Pearl. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. That's right, Mia. I'm live-streaming this entire case to Twitch.tv. People can give Twitch bits during the trial, and I'll shout out their name. While I defend... Maya. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolish, foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. Uh, that's great, Miss Von Karma. 
<laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Ah, uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Gulp? What? What? Where are you getting this fucking takeaway, Phoenix? What? Now then! Very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defense could have left it couldn't could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes! And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Oh shit. But Miss Von Karma! Then, how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Fey, after having killed the victim, exited the room. And I believe that this is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? That's pretty wild! That's very much against everything you said last night! Well, yesterday even. Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's Aunt Morgan Fay to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. Seems really torn by this. Witness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Oh! Oh, we're back to the fucking whipping. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to bring weapons in the courtroom like this. I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove the spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... Oh! You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya. She escaped from the room. What? Oh, so because she's been found out, they have to kind of expand on the lie to say that Maya was still, like, kind of in character burning evidence or something like that. She tried to conceal the crime. Like, they have to do something ridiculous. And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Faye, while possessed in a possess- while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Faye, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. I'm going all in. It Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrust at me away from herself and escaped from the room. But we didn't see that happen! With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. We were outside the room, we never saw her leave. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must co correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind, I'm used to it. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please! My aunt is a very smart and sly person, and we hired for us to find a crack in her testimony. 
Okay, well, we start pressing. And we go from there. Okay. Press everything. Just now you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Uh, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply couldn't understand her atrocious English. Not to mention, she looked awful. What does that have to do with anything? I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. What did you do after that, Miss Fay? Okay. Requested that we can't have the police. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Yes, that is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's none. No need to concern yourself. You want to hear the end of that sentence? Yeah, wh wh what do you mean? There was another. Let's just leave that there, though. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of that of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger. That's what I thought to myself. No, no, she she's not good. I was very noble of you, Miss Faye. No, she's dodgy as fuck. This is bad now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Mr. Faye, please continue. Well, Miss Faye, please continue. A yeah, pistol was hanging from her hand. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why did you lie about something like that? It's very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. He was covering for Maya. No, she wasn't. There's a lie in here. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. But the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, well, pray tell, did she? Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. I just suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit in my stomach. Now, witness, continue with what happened. And quite suddenly, she just thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. How did she escape? Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such to such a thing. However, yes, you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Faye. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. <laughs> what? Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still, still out of the nurse she had called. If she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However, with great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. It's full of shit. I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy witness, elaborate on that point for us. No knowledge where she went. That because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Right, well, now what? Were you really? While you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. That's true. And how can you know for sure that the defendant left the Chandlin chamber at all? Now do you mention it? 
I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up, up her sleeve. That's what. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. Well, that's enough! From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. And I hope this isn't going to come back to bite, bite us in the butt. Oh, okay, so are we are we not going to stop at any point? We're just going straight on to Eeny Miney. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask... Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes! This is exactly what- Oh! Be quiet, you! Now then, what the escapee- What the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She- She went to speak with someone. Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eine Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eine Miney. I think you can see where this is headed. Witness. It's name and occupation. Uh, okay, so my name is like Eeny Miney. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um, university. Well, this is parapsychology. Um, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it. I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Oh, please stop yelling at me. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Uh, well, huh. Like, I guess, if that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. I won't speak out of line again. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake. Okay, after the murder. Like, when the challenge started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like, hadn't seen her in like, so long. I was so happy, in like, a sad way. My sister, she like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady! You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, Your Honor? Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit of the, the spirit was the sp spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh well, this is witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please! My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was... no accident. Oh, that was no accident. This is her sister speaking. I was drugged. With sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. And so this is important for her revenge on Dr. Gray. That's why I took my revenge. They want to forever tarnish his name. It's only fair, isn't it, Eenie? He took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. Then are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit will go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. 
However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. <laughs> yeah, take a bow. You're done. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. This testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed. That's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies cannot be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this, wit this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more into. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Plus four fools. Okay. I was like sleeping in the side room. I don't think she was. Is that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I like, think there was, there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I see. I'm the only one who missed the boat here. Anyway, so you were, you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Came into the room. Do you know the time? Uh, uh, like maybe a little before 11 a.m. Something like that, I think. 11 a.m. Yeah, like my stomach is totally ready for like food. Ah, uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time it is when someone came into your room. Oh, so like that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. So, like, you really gotta be, like, clear with your sentences, like. Because otherwise, like, someone's gonna, like, misconstrue, like, what you, like, have to, like, like, say. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... <laughs> That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness about this person who entered the side room. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all. He's the worst. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. And more, more than that, he's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness. How did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? Let's press this. You were happy in a sad way. Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. Wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was like, someone who didn't know about like, the occult. But I like, know all about the Quran channeling technique. The point here is, is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Mm. Alright, drop this on to question, question further. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. We got her there, though. Because she would have been covered in blood. She would have been covered in blood. That is something strange. You wouldn't... But... Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection. 
you try using that once in a while. Mr. Wright, this question of what the, the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Very important. Very important. Well, I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got the bluff for now, make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Sorry, Mr. Wright. Miss Mighty, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. Press that, yep. Her costume looked normal, it was covered in blood. There was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was like weird. Yep, we got her. She's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I like go on? It was covered in blood. That was a very well spun lie, Miss Amy. <gasps> what? What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um... Order, order! Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? I'm like, thinking. Don't interrupt me. Of that? Oh! And what are you stammering about, your honor? Um, uh, well, I, uh, oh, oh, gee. That witness. Personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Are we, are we just gonna drop that line of question? Are we not gonna pursue that any further? Is there nothing to note, nothing to learn from this? Judge still looks a bit shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. After the murder part two. Like, the side room is like kinda dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. She's doubling down the lie. Yes, now I see. And you had given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? I'm never satisfied, Your Honor. All right, I guess not. Very well. You may question the witness. Like, Phoenix is never just going to turn around and like, Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, okay, fair enough then, yeah. All right, case closed. Maya did it. Side room was kind of dark. First of all, no. Really, because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective, subjective opinions onto this court. But, that's what she's doing. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like, okay. I uh, can't breathe, let me out of here. The blood did not blend in, it's very clear. You didn't see the blood. Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. 
And I like and I like persuaded my sister it wasn't like a right to do something like that. And what was your sister, Miss My Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think like she knew. She like said she did something really bad. And like she said she wanted to go with me to like apologize to Miss Morgan. What? Did, Mi did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? This is such an obvious lie. Like, yeah. You didn't take it to the challenge chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Grey, like, made her feel a lot better. I don't get this, like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry I committed murder, but also, Jesus, I'm relieved I committed murder. No counting, please, because we'll, it, it'll get out of hand. Thank you. Yeah, mods have the right call out. I'll just get spammy. Thanks, guys. I'd like to feel a lot better, too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner, the better. That's with our whip at the ready. And like Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Uh, when you... Um... Oh shit! When she was going to the crime scene... That would have been the time that the vase was broken. So if she doesn't report pearls... He's lying. And we can call her out. I'm talking about when you were going to the challenge chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. He answered rather quickly. Now what? Uh, press. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I like, totally can. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was some nod in the way to the challenge chamber is all that important? Very important. I ask because it is very important. So I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I like didn't see anyone on the way to like the channeling chamber. Pearls was there. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on the way. This really is a dead end. Something you finally pull out of a witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. Oh good, I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes his testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement. It'll end the trial, I know. You have to give it another shot. No matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Oh, I went a bit too far. Okay, so the lie is here. Pearl's favorite toy, she was playing with this at the time of the murder. Um, do I show the ball or the... Or the urn? I'm trying to think. The urn is probably more noticeable. I finally found the fault. I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. <laughs> this joke is an inside joke only to me right now. Because no one knows what I'm about to show. I don't understand, Phoenix. <laughs> Why are you chuckling to yourself? Take a look at this urn. Like urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So, like... What does that prove? 
Who cares about some worn out old urn? Like, yeah. I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything about, like, an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could have not seen this person. Oh. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes? And how is this child relevant? It just so happens at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh! And she just happened to break this urn. Oh! Oh! Wait, she... she broke the urn. Yep, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. I'm so sorry, I know I said I wouldn't snitch on Pearl, but it's quite relevant to this case. I had to call her out. He's being live streamed to the whole world. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Pearl will remember that. Yeah. And per and Pearl was <laughs> sorry, I fucking cry with that voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking like turn into the Joey Wheel or that. Yeah. Brooklyn Rage. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? Miss Miney. <gasps> Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. Grr. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Mine. You are a masterful liar. Ah! Miss Wright! Mr. Wright! You need to watch what you say! The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. And I really believe her. Was she really sleeping in the side room? No, she wasn't. I'm just gonna shut the window real quick. Chilly again. Back in, like, winter time. People are gonna be setting up the Christmas trees in like the coming weeks. I might put mine up in like two weeks. I'm gonna take a sip of water too. Y'all doing okay? Have a hot drink. Oh, thanks. I might get one later. I might try to do a hot chocolate or something like that. I haven't had one in a while. Oh, do you mind if I quickly do one thing as well? Uh, I just had, I think like a video just went up. It's the, yeah. Ah, you know, we'll share it later, yeah. There's an Animal Crossing video on the channel. Yeah, it's fine. I was gonna be like, I gotta, I gotta do my, my promotion, but I, I, I can do all that later. My promotion, but I, I, oh, I opened the multiverse, sorry. Just making sure that went up okay. My promotion! <laughs> My promotion! Oh god. There actually was a small little... I, I, it feels kind of silly to mention this in retrospect. I mentioned it on the Until Dawn video that went up last night, and I mentioned it on the Discord and that. But there actually was a little promo thing that happened last night on the merch shop. Uh, shipping was free on all the merch. Uh, it would have shipped anywhere in the world, and you didn't have to pay postage, which was a cool little thing they were doing. Um, which is kind of funny, because I know that, like, literally in Animal Crossing earlier that day, I was, like, joking about plugging shit. And then, like, like the merch guys just gave me, like, a gentle nudge in the evening saying, Oh yeah, by the way, we got this promotion going. It's like, oh no, now I gotta mention it. <laughs> So, it, it was quite funny. Uh, 
Uh, but probably for the best that it happened that way. It would have been very shameless if I just started joking about it. It's like, by the way, on the merch shop... There should... For future reference, maybe I should maybe I should be a little more shameless, right? Maybe I should promote. There's something happening at like the end of the month, the end of next month, and the new year. We got there's like three things coming. Keep an eye out. Uh, I'll let you know when they're ready. Okay. Was she really sleeping in the side room? There's no way. Your lies end here. What? What? What are you? The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. Now I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Help me, me. <laughs> well, it's in her testimony, yeah, because she says that she just walked back. You help. Uh, is there a piece of evidence that actually shows the contradiction? Because that might be more reliable. I don't think there is. It's in her testimony just now. Early in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And like Miss Morgan was the only one in the Chandler chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? Oh, shit. H how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only... I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the challenge chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the Chandlin Chamber. But you didn't go there by the way of the Winding Way. Gah! Like, we know she's guilty. <laughs> the judge, why are you defending her? But look at the matter guide map. If we were to go between the side room and the Chandlin Chamber, we would have to use the Winding Way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why. Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Uh, uh, Miss Miney, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah! The one only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. Now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? She was in the room. She was in the room. Well, well that's the Chandlin Chamber. Isn't that the cr isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Order, order! That's why. That is oh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Behind the screen. Take that! Here, of course. Behind the folding screen. Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. Alright, there ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind the f that folding screen. Yeah, but Lada didn't... look. See? You stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, you slime ball. Now, now, Miss Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if you know exactly how old I am. 
I, I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen. With the help of this. The folding screen. Uh, the box. Miss Miney. How were you able to hide- how you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! That- that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lada disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that Cloden box was in the side room, correct? Which means that it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That, that That's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Mr. Wright! Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the scene of the crime? Well, yeah, there's a fucking bullet hole in it. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. There's a bullet hole in it. Take a look at this cloak. <laughs> this is like King's Quest logic again. Right? Mr. Wright! Can you prove the box was at the scene of the crime? Yes, of course, Your Honor. I present the box. But Mr. Wright! How does that show the box was at the scene of the crime? It's simple, Your Honor. I have here the box. But Mr. Wright! Take a look at this fucking clothing box, Your Honor. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This what on earth? Oof. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. And the hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. Hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Here. Miss Miney. You were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah. Order, order! That's what you were saying! Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That is exactly what I am saying. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? You had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray. Pin the blame on my client. No, no. Let's stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible. For one person to do all that by yourself. Correct. It's not possible. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. But need I remind you? The foolish receive no mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karman. You said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. Ha! Huh. Tough. Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. And it was Pearl. <laughs> and I know who the accomplice was. <laughs> yes, you see, for it was I that helped Miss Meeny Miney. 
I want to see bloodshed just like dear old papa had before me. There's more to say. Gur, this person! If it wasn't someone from Kurt Karain village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have ha have wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan, Fey, isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? Gur, Gur, you shot Doctor Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I can't do a scream in that voice, like, ah, ah. <laughs> I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping aid. Then she stabbed Dr. Grey with a knife. Next she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. <laughs> Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead! With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. That is why the hole in the phone screen was so low to the ground. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense, yeah! Oh shit, does that mean that, like, Maya almost got shot inside the box? <laughs> he nearly shot Maya. Because it passed through the box and Maya would have been in it. The murderer then took the, the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you or the other lady thought to, thought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be Maya Fey. But, that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry! Before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Who is that? Laughing at a time like this? Oh, you. S Wait, that was Von Karma laughing. I I thought I thought that was Eeny Money. Ah ha 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 Oh you simple minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still of my chance evolving? What is it this time what is it this time? Miss Von Karma! She's actually saying... Like, you naive fools. You simple-minded fools. <laughs> of course... <laughs> Oh, you simple-minded fools! Of course, <laughs> it was me! <laughs> Von Karma! <laughs> oh, 
do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? <laughs> what in the world, Von Karma? <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is, if this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? I, well, that's, uh... Yeah, like, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive. She does have a motive. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? She... Dr. Gray fucking abused her sister. Like, there was loads of evidence to suggest this. Ho oh, hum, ho oh, hum. Is this a word search? I'm having a tough time finding the word motive. Piece of shit. Oh, my brain is becoming labored. My eyesight is failing me. Makes you not want to get old, doesn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What kind of axe would any have to grind with Dr. Gray? I, I thought I had it. Is it this one specifically? Okay, well, I, it, it's the only piece of evidence left. Ha! Just as I, just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. That's great, now even she is calling me by my full name. Do you think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. <laughs> Case closed, you're on. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proved that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I want to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. I'm like, going to explain. So like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like, wanted revenge, then like, wouldn't I, I wouldn't have waited this long. <laughs> oh, this is the, well, if I was the killer, I would have been smarter than that. Which is like, really not an argument. Um, and sides, like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona. However, you see... <laughs> Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Mighty has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the film. <laughs> How? <laughs> Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to de demonstrate your point. Tisk, tisk. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. Nurgurk! Look, what is that phrase? What happened? I thought I had her for sure. 
hee hee. See like, it's just as I like. Told you. Huh? I hope you like your slice of humble pie. Very well, I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Seedy Miney. I have no integrity. Hold it. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. <laughs> they never question that Mia's just here. But strictly speaking, there's like an eight-year-old child who's just supposed to be here. But Deus Ex Mia strikes again. Deus Ex <laughs> Mia can no Deus Ex Mia. It's too, too. That's too difficult to say otherwise. Your Honor, please allow the defense when we're in. All right. Wait, aren't you supposed to be dead? Yeah, like he's just. Wait, Your Honor. What does the eight-year-old child have to say on this court case? Can we have a minute? No, oh, go on. I'll let you try solve the case. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. Is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Phoenix, right? Your final answer, please! Just, all that played in my head here and that is like uh, the who wants to be a millionaire luck in sound effect. Like, it's C, Your Honor. Do, do, do. Drum roll. You just lost the million pounds. Oh! Save it here. If you want me to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then why'd she kill the victim in this way? Can you prove the reason? Can I really do this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, your honor. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. <laughs> yes, I can. I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. Ha ha ha. Too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. <laughs> Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? what you You're supposed to be on my side. Avon Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will throw you out of my way. <laughs> oh shit, Avon Karma. No way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. And when we come back, both the defense attorney and the prosecutor are just gonna fucking tag team this witness. Oh gosh! They're ganging up on her! We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a sec here! Well, uh, this went surprisingly, like, in our favor. Thanks, Von Karma. Okay, June 22nd. Five minutes later. Is it really true? Is that my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And in the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted. Everything is going just as I predicted. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. 
Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation. Oh, looking down on me, even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Oh wait, no, that's Phoenix. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you. Let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. Okay, well this is it, this is the finale. I think we're gonna decide it here and now. Court will now reconvene! Mr. Wright! Yes, your honor. Can you prove Miss Annie Monty had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Annie Monty and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miney, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought like you wanted to like ask me about my like motive. I'm just gonna be back in one minute, folks. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I haven't had one yet. Uh, let's do that before we get back into the case, okay? Quick, quick five minute break. Use the loot, get a drink, get a snack. See y'all in a few.
Hey, folks. How y'all doing? I'm back. I like something stuck in my throat, though. That's something I've been noticing while I've been playing. It's like a bit uncomfortable. But I'm not in any pain or anything. I just can't get it out. You know, you feel like you have to cough or something, but it just won't come out. Why is chat spamming emotes? Chat was gay while you were gone. Okay, right. No reason to be honest. Nothing new. <laughs> tonsil stones. No, it's not tonsil stones. It's just like still slight cold, I guess. I guess because like uh, when I'm playing this game, I'm doing like oh, I'm trying to voice act a bit. Uh, I'm trying to give it my all. Like a popcorn kernel. No, not like that. We appreciate your effort. Thanks, guys. I think for today, we're gonna get to the end of this case, and then we might go a little bit more. Uh, am I right in assuming that the structure of this game, just for ease of the kind of splitting it out, is it going to be four cases, and we're on, like, case two? So there's gonna be one more case and then a final one. Because from what I understand for the first game, there was a fifth case, but that was added later. Yes. Okay. Grand. Well, that that kind of just lets me work out the divisions in my head. Uh, for how it'll be. That's good to know. Yeah, so we'll finish this case. We'll see how we're doing on time. We might start a little bit of the case after that. We'll just see how we get on. We'll make sure everything's done. The game after this is five. Okay. But we're not on that one yet. No, that's just good to know. Um, just to kind of like splitting up things. Alright, we're, we're gonna finish this case. I think we can do it that tonight at least. I'm happy to kind of keep streaming until at least nine and then see how we're doing on time. Clear my throat a little bit now, which is good. I'm just taking a moment. Yeah, no spoiling about future cases. I don't want to know that like, oh my god, he hasn't played like 7.2 yet. I don't want to know. No spoilers. I do not want to know. Because if, if you start hyping up a case, it's going to set an expectation, and I will be... I, it's probably not going to be as good then. And I'll tell you that now. Gotta go in blind. Okay. Uh, I think I should be good. I think my throat is holding up. I'm happy to keep going. And... We'll be here until at least nine. Press no with the case. Let me get this back. Where did you like go? I've been like on the stand for like the last five minutes. Did you like want to ask me anything like? I thought you wanted to ask like about my motive. I like don't see the point in like bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like I totally don't think it will do any good, but. You're so implicit on this crime. That was like last year in May. Like something really bad had happened at like my sister's clinic around then. And like the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was like totally pooped too. So I like fell asleep in the passenger seat. I like woke up because of a jolt and like it was a sea of flames around me. I like opened the door and like got away. I think I've heard I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk in the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was a talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Oh Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Oh yes, Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now it's impossible to prove. But Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this angle from another work this from another angle. 
Solving two cases at once again. Okay, there's no need to dispute that. Something bad happened in the clinic. That was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What, what was the cut? <laughs> Sometimes when you're doing the voices, it's just like so serious. Like, it's just so sounds so stupid when you just think about what's happening to Mo. That was when all those people died in that horrific accident. Yeah. Why, yes! Like. <laughs> it's always when it's like a short one word answer. It's like, yeah. Ye. <laughs> like, imagine. <laughs> imagine. That was that malpractice incident where all those people died. Ye. Just like nods. <laughs> What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was cause the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. I mean, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. And, like, the night, of the night after my sis was totally tired. That's actually good that she's saying it's not her sis. That's a motivation. What? Yeah, why would she say that? That blows her cover. Kind of, if you think about the logic there. Hell on herself, yeah. Okay. She was tired while driving. She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? Press harder. I mean, this feels kind of mean, though. This is gonna be sensitive information. Press harder, but like, gentle. Just keep pressing. Not harder. So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched... <laughs> yeah, alright, Captain Hindsight. They didn't do that. True, true! Ah, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. Yeah, d didn't even have it. Like, what What if she came out and is like, well, I did have a driver's license? I guess we just didn't think of that. And then Phoenix is like, so you're the reason she died. <laughs> like... This is news to me. I wasn't... Wait, 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 hold on a second! Hang on! I was wondering a moment there. Hang on. Wait a- Oh no, so Phoenix is gonna be- So that's the way this is gonna go. Phoenix is gonna clamp down. He is Captain Hindsight here. So you're the reason she died. Oh no. Miss Mighty, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. He's gonna amend it. I woke up because of the flames. I didn't have my license, so I couldn't take over driving for her. Is this your car? Is this your license? Is this your card? It's Miney. That was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. It's in my pocket for some reason. <laughs> This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. Nope. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director, Director Hody, 
or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. <laughs> this is not a reliable testimony. What are you talking about? What, are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. <laughs> what? This is not a reliable witness to bring in. But we do have the license. No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? November? The accident happened last May. That's a half year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? Oh no. Da, 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 that's what happened, Mr. Wright! <laughs> yeah, right there, Judge. Do you need a moment? At the time of the accident, Miss Mighty did not have a driver's license. Er. Oh! Cry, and my whip will accommodate. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could have not switched drivers. I'm like, glad you get it, but... Like, even if I had my license... I like, don't think my sis would have like, let me drive. Was it, does someone hear the sound of Ert being shoveled up outside? I think Eni's digging her own grave. If she just shut up, she'd be in the clear. Hmm. Don't just stand there, hmm, yourself. Not you too, Mia. With the whip and the pain. Miss Miney, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Uh, um, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. She didn't have, like, if she said, if she just kept her mouth shut. She would have got away. <laughs> eh? Like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. She's so stupid. So stupid. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. I see! A bright red car for sports! And the defense may question the witness. Not terribly knowledgeable of cars, but... No noobs allowed in the gamer car. <laughs> that's close to getting my license. Press that, you know, that's worth pressing. What do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Uh, a permit. Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is? Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Oh! <laughs> Ignorance is to be whipped. I kind of did. I kind of need to get my license as well. How old is Phoenix again? How old's Phoenix? I'm 26 and I don't know how to drive, but I've always. I keep meaning to. He's 25. Yeah, I'm. I've got no excuse. I gotta learn to drive soon, too. I'm still the Drift King, don't get me wrong, but I, I need an actual legal license. <laughs> Drift King can't drive. I. Yeah, it doesn't sound great, does it? <laughs> Anna, thank you for a thousand bits. In the anime, Phoenix canonically doesn't know how to drive, he bikes to court. I saw that, I thought that was very cute. Yeah, I saw a few episodes of the anime. Very first one, based on the first game. Didn't watch it past to like the second game or ending. It's obviously spoilers. What is Witter? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So like, may I continue? Big fan of sports cars. You got in a really shiny bright red sports car. 
No way am I letting a noob drive my car. You're in the passenger seat. And that was when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah. I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Sounds, sounds like you had, a, you had a terrifying time! There's something very big here. It'll be hard to break apart such a natural sound and testimony. I have to attack it. By doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. You really think so? Believe, there is a path. I know it. Alright. Prophet Mia. Take apart the testimony. You value cars. How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at, like, a drop of rain. And, like, she would notice if someone, like, touched the car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Press harder. Why'd you take such a special car... Take such special care of the car. How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. I mean, try asking something with more significance, alright? I'm sorry, Mia. I I don't know much about cars. I only watch Top Gear for like the the stupid shit they do, like crossing the English Channel, or like driving through the jungle. I didn't really pay attention. With well, like how much horsepower a vehicle had. Like, what does it mean if a car is like 300 horsepower? Like, okay, take the arm of your horses to the car. Why are you comparing these things? They're very different! Well, Miss Marty, what kind of car was it? Okay, she got in a big, shiny sports car. It was a new car. Yeah, she had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Huh? The UK?! Were those her boyfriend's initials? <laughs> and it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. From the UK, she, she imported it. Really don't know anything about cars. I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes? Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Well, if you like cars that much, then. It's not my point. But to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. <laughs> Miss Miney, would you please fix your testimony? Oh shit, I think I know what this is gonna come down to. Do I know? Okay, the car is imported, right? Opposite side of the road. Opposite steering wheel. The steering wheel is on the right side of the car in a UK car. But she claimed that when she left the car, she exited via the right door. That would have been the driver's seat. I, I, how do I press her on that? I think I know what it is. That's when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah, I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. How do I get her to say she left via the right door? Articles. Is there anything that shows she left via the right door? I think that's what it's gonna come down to. I don't know if she said that. Did I miss it? I missed it, did I? I opened the right door. She was driving. 
Okay. Let this be right. Miss Miney, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door, and like got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course. Because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them are riding in a British car. Not English, British. In any- in that case, the passenger side would be the left side. What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you're sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. We got her. Order, order in the court! Order! Order! <laughs> Jeez, he's got to fight for the quiet. Order! Oh! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. And he said the person who was driving her, driving was her older sister, Meanie M Mimi Miney. That is what Eenie said, yes. That is where our story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eenie or Mimi, who was really driving that night? I will also answer that court... I will also answer that question on behalf of the court. Apparently. The answer is Eenie Miney, of course. Wh why would you say that? Miss Eenie Miney just said so herself in her testimony. She said that she escaped from the car on the right side door, which would have been where the driver's seat was. I'm inclined to feel sorry for a foolish fool who foolishly spends his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Deanie Miney had not yet received her driver's license. <gasps> That's why the car crashed. It wasn't Dr. Gray. Doc so, Dr. Gray didn't drug her. That didn't happen. She was just overworked. Dr. Gray was working her to the bone. That is why the accident happened. Hold it, Phoenix. It looks like you still don't see the real troop behind the accident. The real troop? Think outside the box. Isn't that what we always say? Alright, one more time. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eenie or Mimi, who- Wait, what? It's not Eenie? Wait, oh, was it Mimi? What? Oh shit! She's not Amy. She's Mimi, cause of the facial reconstruction surgery. Oh god, it's all coming back to that. Oh, I completely forgot about that really out of this world plot point. It's of course it's Nicolas Cage's face off. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Mining. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said the witness, Miss Amy Miney, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question. Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? <laughs> what? 
There we go. That's the sound effect of Nicolas Cage laughing. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name. This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... <laughs> Why? Oh, this will take all my points if I present it. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> it's an instant game of... As much as I would like to, I cannot save it right now, and I haven't saved it in a while. <laughs> It was Pearl! Oh shit! Mimi Mining deceased. Mimi Miney. That is your real name. Objection. Of all the foolish dribble! <laughs> then, how do you explain her appearance? The witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. For the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. <laughs> facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. But, Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Amy Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? A car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Amy Miney. Her sister Mimi then stole her face and was re- <laughs> Alright, I mean, I guess that happened. It wasn't intentional. Like, the way you phrase it there, Phoenix, sounds like she had to kill someone or, like, finish her job. You don't just steal someone's face. It's, <laughs> it's a Kojima plot! <laughs> Get Nicolas Cage laughing again. <laughs> <laughs> With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What, what do you mean? Oh, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. <laughs> There's so many plates spinning! Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. Dr. Gray was calling behind the ghost, but little did he know, Eeny Miney had already assumed her dead sister's face and was out for revenge. This was all a ploy for Morgan Fay to take hold of the spirit house so that she could place her daughter, Pearl, in charge of the Fay spirit household! <laughs> like, what is this plot? There's too much happening! There's too much happening! <laughs> However, that would not have been possible, because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive! <laughs> and that fact would have been, been discovered had the channeling been conducted! <laughs> so this witness had to stop that from happening! At all costs, they- Oh my god. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray. Is that what you're saying? Remember as well, on top of the plot, Von Karma also has a personal motivation from the past game that she's trying to fulfill based on her dad who you defeated in previous anime court. Yes. Before the channeling. 
Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. <laughs> This is also before the facial reconstruction surgery. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Well, well Miss Eni. I mean, Miss Von Karma? Oh, why did you say my name just now? Well, Von Karma, it's getting kind of hard to follow. I don't blame the poor judge at this point. <laughs> Looks like I've been unmasked. Don't tell me someone's gonna come out from behind the fucking table. It's like, Edgeworth, what are you doing here? <laughs> like... Witness? That's right, that's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? And become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted her old self to disappear because of this. Uh... Because of this. This one, I think. The malpractice. Was it actually her that w got it wrong? I think it was. That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. That it wasn't Dr. Gray who did it, but he did treat them terribly in their work conditions. But he wasn't the killer. He, he, he didn't kill the patients. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right, the person standing before us today. In a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Miney had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. Time and couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients died in that incident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable! Climbed me up my wildest imagination! That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channel in Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Coming inny has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. I mean, th there is also a possessed spirit literally in the courtroom with us at the moment. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as why did Miss Miney uh, choose to go with such a complicated plan? Or why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear: the innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This, this is preposterous. I, I'm perfect. Me, Franziska von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss von Karma. How about you? Oh. <laughs> The sass! It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Oh! <laughs> you shouldn't have provoked her, Phoenix. You shouldn't have provoked her. He's dead. <laughs> Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This really is like a Hideo Kojima plot for this one. Snake! 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 This court is a fraud, a sham! <laughs> now then! It looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness! <laughs> Does this happen often in, like, a court of law? 
I'll, I'll go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Maya is not guilty. Wait, are we not gonna- Wait, 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 what about Morgan Fay? Are we not gonna address that? Is she just getting away scot-free? Hang on, hang on. We're just- we're just not gonna pursue that- Like, she, she was willing accomplice in all of this. I guess not. Congratulations, Maya. Sis! Oh shit, they've never, never actually gotten to see each other because Maya would always be possessed by Mia. But you, since, since poor Pearl is currently possessed, they can finally reunite. Good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. Try not to get in this situation come the next game, Maya. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What could have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. The possessed Maya Faye, who had just committed a murder. You planned it down to the smallest detail, huh? But, I think... I mean, I get okay, so I guess she was the mastermind and Morgan was the accomplice. I thought it was gonna be the other way around. I really did think it was the other way around. Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. <laughs> yeah, Maya, don't have that smug look on your face. Like, I'm sick of doing this shit. I don't want to have to defend you in court again. <laughs> well, you know, but I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, now my aunt. Oh no. Hey Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? I just, I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? <laughs> That's real easy for you to say, Phoenix. This poor girl has lost, like, almost all her family in, like, the last year. Just move on, Maya. Oh my god. It's just your living relatives. <laughs> like... <laughs> Nick, please, I need an answer. <laughs> the reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... It was Maya's Magatama. I don't get it. Yeah, me- No, it was that! It was that! <laughs> no! But that's what it was, because... She wanted to own the- be the head of the house! What the fuck?! Oh, I guess it was because of Pearl as well. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, it's like also Pearl, but... <laughs> I don't get it. Me neither. <laughs> Nicholas Cage is laughing at us. Oh, I can't reload. No, we haven't saved it in forever. It's too far to go back. Look, this whole thing is over now, so let's not dwell on the past, okay? Give her a minute, Phoenix! Yeah, thanks, Nick. I just don't know the answer to this one. I'm just as confused about the situation as she is, so why the thanks? Yeah, what a great comfort you are, Phoenix.
Date and time unknown, detention center, solitary confinement? My, my precious pearl. You're the only one suitable to be the master of Karain, dear child. I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder. I cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Fey. But I shall be patient, my dearest pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Oh, she'll have her revenge. Well, the end. Case is done. Did no? Did did we not check on Pearl after the trial as well? Did like did she get home okay? She's eight years old. She she came with no one. Well, she's dead. Okay. Another trial down. Alright, let's let's start let's start a bit of this one. I'm still good to go for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show! Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight! The world's greatest magician, the one, the only, Maximilian Galactica! That's just... Oh shit, he's really doing it. He's really going. Oh, he's gone. Well, that was lovely. Hey, it's day after Christmas! Happy Stevens Day. Big, very big circus. <laughs> the very big circus. Is it a very big circus? <laughs> oh, Pearl, st Pearl is alive. It's the BBC. <laughs> BBC News has their own, like, circus now. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. Keith, that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Ma Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max. Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? <laughs> God love her. No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick. Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. I mean, this is kind of like performance tricks. That's what his magic is. There's, there's like... It's weird how we define that, isn't there? There's a particular kind of performance art that we define as magic that is strictly trick and skill. And then there is like another one that some people do kind of subscribe to that is sort of more spiritual and kind of channeling and that kind of magic. You know? It's interesting though. You think like the names would be the other ways around where it's like illusion and then the other one is magic. You don't know anything about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Karain Village. And it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. Oh yeah, because that was all a flashback, that's right. And now we're back to like the present day. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it, and has returned to her normal self. Ah, it's time to go. You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remembered the train! Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. 
Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. Gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. Ah, uh, get go, go, take a holiday, Maya. You're going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I am glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly, look, it's time to go. Pearly, shut up. It's not like I like him or anything, Baka. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. December 28th. Well, today wraps it up for this year. Hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Apparently I get off, I, okay, like, the 29th is just the last day for me. That's when I, that's when I leave. I have holidays then. Wait, 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 oh, it's the fucking... Cause... What date was the DL6 incident again? Don't tell me. <laughs> is he gonna have, like, a flashback in a moment? No, it's the 26th. Yeah. Oh, thank God. We actually just went to the fun fair and had a good time. It's not the 28th. Please tell me it's not the 28th. Yeah. It was Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. To, like, Stephen's Day. Hello, this is Phoenix Dragon Coat. Nick, it's terrible. Ah, Maya. Perfect timing. How are you? You been having a nice holiday? Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What, what, like, what are you talking about? Uh, by dirty office, what are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. TV. Let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. Sensational, because... Not the right word. It's like you're advertising the murder. Like, the big hit this season. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very, I mean the very big circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! What is it? Yeah, what is it with all, like, what is it with Maya, her loved ones, everyone she even has a remote interest in in the, the field of entertainment? Why do they all get convicted of these crimes? Like, I think the problem is Maya. Everything that she is, is associated with, eventually I have to defend in court. <laughs> Alright, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. We got plenty of time to clean up your office later. Wait. Oh, I guess we gotta go. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he uses magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Oh god, he's gonna need a new voice. Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Oh my... Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. He he called me sweetie. Swoon. Nick. Ah ha ha ha. Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. This one. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it. He got it. Nick, look, he got it. What is this guard thinking right now? What's going on in his head? Is 
please, like... Your ten minutes are almost up. If you could please finish seeing the guests, we're going to close the visitor soon. Please exchange any items you wish to present the visitor, and then move on. What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Oh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Uh, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. <laughs> Pick a card. Any card. You can keep that one. <laughs> There's no trick here. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over here. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe and juice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry! Okay, let's talk to him. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security black glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus! What in the world? If only I could use magic! Then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyway, anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. These people nowadays. They get their panties all in a bunch over nut. <laughs> what? What the fuck, Phoenix? Do people still use that phrase? What? Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? Okay, Boomer. I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Max Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. <laughs> Phoenix is out for blood today. You are signed to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus. It's a dinosaur. A thing of the past. Nowadays, no one can even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me. The Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived a dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kinda like the circus performances. Oh, so he's gonna have a lot of enemies. Maya looks a bit down. There's gonna be, like, Bobo the Clown is gonna be the killer. You can already tell. Gonna be someone who's gonna be out of a job. Wanna be Penny Pennywise? We gotta find him. 
Tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, last night. The ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Question you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. Then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters. That's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. He's right. We should shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Aha. Uh -huh. What did you talk about? Things aren't for, for your ears. Maya, would you please talk to him? What did, what did you talk about with the ringmaster, Nick? Oh, Max. It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yeah, so it's Bobo the Clown. That's all you talked about. Of course! It was a fabulous chat! Oh. He, he's lying a lot here. It's fabulous, I mean, ah, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Uh, do I have? I don't have a lot of evidence right now to present much. <laughs> Let's try it. Meeting with Russell. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? Negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth. The whole truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office and negotiated your salary. I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Padlock, padlock, padlock. Do you have any proof I did something other than negotiate my salary fee last night? This is my badge. Jeebus! What's the matter? Sweetie, you must have some wax built up in your ears. You haven't listened to me at all! You're still not listening, are you? He hates lies. Okay. Back out of it for now. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Investigate and try to gather some more clues before I try again. Okay, well, can we head home? Is, is there nothing I can really do? Profiles. Oh, I- is it- oh, I gotta present himself to it again. I have something that shows you were involved. Holds up a mirror. Alright. I hate it when it does that. Some proof how you have proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee late last night. Well, I mean, you're accused of murder. No? I don't have any evidence, but there's nowhere else I can go. Just like Maya? What am I missing? 
Okay, wait, okay, go go back out of this. Does he do anything with the badge? What is that badge? Is it using a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max, I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you was wasting your time talking to me? He's been wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Oh. Oh, thank God, okay. We actually needed to present the badge. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look in your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder. Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. Yeah, you, uh, no matter how many times you say it, Max, you're behind prison glass at the mo. I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. Really? <laughs> That's like forced magician humor. Yes, you're going to take a... Don't take a rabbit out of my hat. Police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Does he not know? Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. Um... Yes? Poor Q, I mean... Sir. You're a lawyer, right? Uh, oh yeah, I'm an attorney. Please help me, I didn't kill nobody! Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer! That's insane! I... I... I could never... Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's daddy's back on the farm! Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Re really Really? Oh, oh, thank you much. They all sure are nice folks. Uh, Max? Yeah? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johns. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. <laughs> huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Oh, um, Natalie mentions that I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? Howdy, he got it right again. What can I say? You too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galacticus hearts. You do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Ah-ha-ha-ha! I'm pushing my face in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make, make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. I can go to the circus now. It's Lada's little brother. <laughs> we're here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. Hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police is still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. His nips must be chafing from wearing a leather jacket with no shirt. <laughs> Why are you thinking that right now? Why is that your concern at this point in time? It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks, not to mention candy and popcorn. They've even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around, there's a ton of snow piled up all around here. I don't think you know what a snow cone is, Phoenix. 
Yay, wait a second, there's no syrup though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice that discolored snow in the court. That discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Oh no. The box office where they sell the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So why don't you buy one now? Mm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know I'd never do that to you, Nick. This door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. You really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering. It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? Not even gonna justify that question with a response. I bet all the stars stay in that lodging house. Okay. Look the posters. The stream is doing a nice job introducing the circus performers. Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? Yeah, they're few and far between, aren't they? You're right. I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top? Okay, now I don't understand the con- Well, no, I mean, there's a whole generation of Minecraft YouTubers, so, you know, we're all... You know, we're all gonna be forgotten in, like, five years. Apparently that's what's hit with the kids, and no matter how much you try to fucking escape it on Twitter... It's, it's like... My Minecraft, my favorite Minecraft YouTuber ate a sandwich! 55,000 tweets. Like, no offense to the guys, because they're lovely lads, and like, I've talked to them, but Jesus Christ, some days, it's just like, you just glance at it, and it's like, what do they do? <laughs> like... <laughs> you know? No offense to anyone, but it's just like, I remember a time when I looked at, like, what was trending on Twitter, and I got, like, the news. <laughs> And not if a guy ate a sandwich, or like, called their pet dog something. Uh, I don't think that was why. Nick, the entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that. Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dally the Elephant. There's no dally, not today. I know that too. Oh well, I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. I don't hear on business or anything. Oh god. Anyone remember Bean Dad? Good times. What the fuck is Bean Dad? <laughs> RT gonna get cancelled on Twitter. Oh, there's gonna be like a hundred quote retweets of something I've said. <laughs> oh. It just seems a little intense, I'll be honest. But what the fuck is a bean dad? It was a Twitter meme. He doesn't know. I, I've no... Uh, what? Should I Google this? Is this safe? This is a musician who... who was re-nicknamed because his daughter struggled to use a can opener. What? What is this? It was a shit show. What, what do you mean? It just sounds like someone couldn't open a tin of beans. I don't... I... I don't understand. This made the news this year? What the f... What the... I... It was a villain. Like, there, there's like a huge article listed on this. 
I, I like immediately started checking and there's a deleted tweet. I don't I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole. I don't know if I want to know. Yeah, I, I I think I'm better off knowing what this. I think this is a one guy in chat thing. Someone just like because we were talking about trending hashtags. Someone mentioned it and I just caught it. And it's like what the fuck is that? Is Nicolas Cage laughing at me again? Because I don't know. Oh, one guy in chat. Someone's got to stop him. He does this every time. There's like, <laughs> there could be like thousands of you like just like all like typing away, just like you know, having like a final time in chat. One person says something. I've like focused a lens on it. What's that? Like that's why like going to Brazil became a thing in like previous streams. One guy said, "Is this Brazil?" And I just read that out, and then, like, thousands of you were going to Brazil. <laughs> it's always that one guy in chat. Time to cancel that one guy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the Berry Big Top is so very bi enormous. Yep, one look at the huge tent moving over and you realize this is the circus. I know, I know, it really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep going. Eerily quiet. Big Top and the Lodging House. Let's try the Lodging House first. Seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that, uh, stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, thank god. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How do you guys always seem to know when I'm working on a crime scene, pal? There's no music, and it's actually really unnerving. Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. I have to be at, this, at the circus anyway. I want to see the lion tamer on the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained! That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Like, I feel like I need to pop some music on. Otherwise, like, I'm gonna be like, like it, it's too eerie. But I, I, I don't know if, like, some music's gonna start playing, so I can't do that. You know who'll be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course, it will be Miss Von Karma. Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. If she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma's really interested in all, but... There's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeward, of course. Oh, shit. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeward. What in the world happened after I went back home? But Mr. Edgeward? You haven't heard what happened to him. Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeward isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeward is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick. What what happened to Edgeward? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. Body was found right over there. Right about where you were standing there. Oh, we're contaminating the scene. Oh, oh, surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep. It's a pretty, it's a pretty clear, clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But, but, there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ah, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. We got music again. Oh, thank God. 
Thank God. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints. Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under his body. No clue, pal. The forensics expert took it back and are examining it now. And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Well, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo. Where'd the killer come from? And where'd the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit. Don't tell me. Don't tell me they suspect Max just because he can fly. <laughs> Is that really what it's gonna be? Like, he, he was hit in the head and he walked a bit and collapsed. Don't tell me that an actual court of law is going to be, well, we couldn't find footprints, but we know there is a wizard here. I hate it here. There's no way. Flying is impossible. That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible, haha. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it. it means I don't want to talk about it. He doesn't actually fly. And surely the judge is gonna... Well, no, I believe that man's levitating right now. He can do it if he wants to. He's just not doing it because he's guilty. Execute him, I say. How, like... So the crime points towards Max because he can fly. Like, just... <laughs> oh, this fucking case. <laughs> this fucking game. Like, the first one was ridiculous, but like, this is like in overdrive right now. The last case was insane. It was like the daughter of like a previous prosecutor who had wanted to get revenge on you, but also someone had stolen another person's face, and as a doctor was only uh, like the crime was only found out because a doctor was channeling a dead spirit, also in a plan to run a coup on the spirit shrine in the mountains. Like that's all simultaneously happening. That was the last case. And now we have murder committed by a man who can fly. Okay. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. A crime photo. I don't really have anything I can give Gumshoe. I don't think Gumshoe will be hiding anything. You know, I can't tell you can't tell you too anything about the evidence we have gathered. Dingy. When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. Okay, there's Gumshoe. This is- this is insane. Okay, yeah, the very big circus. Circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults! I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grr. Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Grr. Gra. Oh, there's just a tiger here. <laughs> tiger? He's coming this way. Grr. Ah. Did Phoenix just get mauled by a tiger? Nick, you're too young to die. Nick. Stay, stay, heal! He, I think he just got mauled by a tiger. I'm still here, I'm not dead yet. Nick, are you okay? Ah, scared you, didn't I? Oh. 
Hello there. Your art sprite art doesn't seem like it's from the right game. I don't know why. Uh, what kind of voice do I give her? It's the killer. She's the killer 100%. Can I do, like, a, a magical girl voice? Can I? But that, that's good. It's gonna turn into, I think, um, Eenie again. Greeny, uh, Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? I can make it cuter, okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to commit to this. I'd like to apologize in advance. Uh, just to my parents, in case they're watching. What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. <sighs> Don't what's the matter, me? <sighs> Nick, he almost died there. It's kind of it's kind of gamer, isn't it? The the gamer voice is also my anime voice. Like, hey guys, what's going on? We'll win with the power of friendship. Yeah, it's the same voice. It's the same voice. Sounds like Sonic. Yep. Yep. No, it's the same voice. Ha! He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? Who said make her Marge? Oh me! <laughs> You agree, don't you? No, that's too close to Toad. That's too close to Toad. I'll kill. I uh, I will die. I, I can't. I can't maintain that voice anymore. I can't do that voice anymore. We saved Toad for special occasions now. Like cracking open like a Christmas wine or something. Death metal voice. Like how many different voices can we do? You agree, don't you? No, that was. Uh, we had that one. That was, uh, that was the police detective. You agree, don't you? Yeah, I think I think the gamer voice works best for her. She's, she, she's getting the gamer voice. I guess. But it's like, it's not quite gamer. It's gamer voice, but with an anime inflection. Oh, I'm so kawaii. Sugoi? Okay, that's how we're doing it. Anime gamer. Anime gamer. Can I do a VTuber voice? I don't know if I can. I, I'm not a VTuber myself. Okay, what's the best? I'm just doing this to test voices, so I apologize for some of the lines I'm gonna say. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just trying to get- I'm seeing if there's a voice there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Clipped. Fuck. <laughs> it's like, instantly, it's like, we got him. This man's career is done. It's over. <laughs> He'll never come back. What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woo! Your costume! Eh? It's cute! I want to try it on! Costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow, the tables quickly turn on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the new, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium, and I talk more closer to a normal person. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we look really odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. Do we have to talk to her? <laughs> Do we? 
Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows that you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute! Ulu? Me? Of course! I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine! Really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me! A heroine! What about Nick, Regina? No. <laughs> He's no hero, is he? Oh, thanks a lot, Maya. Okay. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. Got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the line during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride in the regions back and jump out of the lion's mount. I want to try it too. I'll ride in Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mount. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. Ah, ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. Not even worth arguing with her on this one. We had this argument in the first Phoenix, right? What is it with ladders and step ladders? This has been a debate each game so far. Surprise, it's happened twice. Hey, it's a rope. Probably for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. Oh. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people can fit in the big top. He's right. We can fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing. Flying around flying around above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. Okay. I think that's everything here. I am going to have to talk to her soon. I can also show her this picture of the crime scene. What about this? What can you tell me? No. Really, you too? I understand exactly what you mean. We're expecting Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Okay, talk. What happened? Hey, Regina. What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh. Uh-oh. So, the ringmaster was your... Yep. The ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what, what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? That's every- Wait, why is- Does she not care? There's something going on there that we don't know yet? She is the killer. <laughs> Everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. Someone whose father was just murdered. She seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's, that's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent Re and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. Oh. What? Why'd he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. That's not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes? Uh... Hiding something. Hey, you wanna see your dad again? <laughs> Is the badge actually gonna have use again? It might. No. Can't figure it out. Uh, profiles. We have one. The victim and ringmaster of the very big circus. 
Uh, Regina Berry's father. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yeah, that door right above over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he, he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. Probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Hey, what do you make of Max? It's Max! Yeah. Hey, where is Max now, anyways? You don't know? No. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal. Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? Hehe. <laughs> That's a bit menacing. Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Um, well. Mumble mumble. What? Really? And then... Oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Her dad just died last night, but everyone's very happy about it. Come on, Nick, there's no, t there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed her love to her. Pro 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 professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trilo. Trilo? Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. And haven't met him just yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. He must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. No. Hee <laughs> hee. Um. The ringmaster's room. This was the ringmaster's room. Yes, this room, room belonged to the victim. It means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, this is th that is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm. An interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max. I want it, I want it, Nick, I want it. I want to get out of here. I mean, that one's not a Max. That's the biggest one. Folder here. A table for guests. There's some paper scattered on top. Ah, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes. What is it? I didn't know that a magician. This salary is incredible. It looks like she's about to re about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? That much? Incredible, huh? Say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. This document is dated a week ago. Ooh. Ooh. So Max got a raise, and I think someone else was unhappy in the circus. And they wouldn't get a raise, too. So foul play. But the question is, who done it? Who done it? The table he used when visitors came to see him. Ew, there's mud caked on the table. And what terrible manners must have had... Must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyway? Yeah, Phoenix is a boomer. Most of us most of us don't say uncouth anymore. Like that's when you say an uncouth. The youth. When you start using words like that, you're old. <laughs> Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Dude, just look at all the awards the circus has won. This really means there's not much hope for me, um, considering I'm actually older than Phoenix, right? My days are numbered. Like, all country quiz champions, ringmaster association, mini golf master, beer belly balloon bounce champ, 
Pet Groom and Grand Prix. Wow, the Ringmaster was a multi-talent in ways I could never have imagined. A lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that, that, that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? My, we are we supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one. Oh, she already swiped one. I don't think you can take that, Maya. It might be evidence. Uh, you're in... Like, yeah, Phoenix is old. You're in... Corrigible. You know that. What does that even mean? Of a person of their behavior, not able to change or reform. Uh, okay, all right. Most people just say, you never change. Yeah, unchangeable, you're unchangeable. Okay, Max G promo poster. More important evidence. This is strange, everything looks else looks nice. This desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. A picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Please don't tell me it's Regina in the end. I'd be, it'd be quite upsetting. <laughs> if it was, but it'd be the perfect cover for it too, as no one would suspect her. Kill him to take the circus or something. From the posters they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. Spine tingling legal action. Mind numbing legalese. You will say wow. Or perhaps hold it. Don't miss out on a stunning life or a debt courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. Oh no, hold it pretty much is your catchphrase that you're known for, Phoenix. Or like, objection. May not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Ho ho! What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through other people's coats. Ah, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, that's like, that's like the pocket bit. Yeah, that's all that is. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. Quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shock and pink, for example. This one says it's 100% all-natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. Ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very... metrosexual? Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, metrosexual refers to just interest traditionally associated with women or gay men. Is the definition of it. Ah, the 2000s. <laughs> yeah, like, look, there's nothing wrong with doing your face, alright? I've got a fucking skincare routine. Alright? Real talk. I've got an exfoliator. Uh, I've got, like, kind of like a morning scrub that I pop on in the morning and before I go to bed. And I've got a moisturizer, all right? You gotta look after your face. There's nothing wrong with that. Get it, Dan? How metrosexual for you. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's hygiene, you know? Like, your, your face is, like, full of, like, oil and gunk half the time. You gotta get that out. Otherwise, like, a pimple, like, the size of your nose is just gonna swell or something, you know? You don't have to go all out with it, but wash your face at least, guys. Important. I bet you take a bath, too. I did take a bath earlier this week, and it was lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> You lost 10 viewers. <laughs> hmm. 
Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. Like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool. Seems there are so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. And put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. We had a client who was found guilty. Um, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Hi, Gene, are you even a real gamer? <laughs> I don't know if that's often. I, d I don't have them too often. But, like, it's been a very busy week. I I I've been, like, off flat out. My feet were killing me. So I was like, you know what? I just want to soak in the tub for a while. So, I, I, I like, I set it all up. It's, like, one of the few times I've used that bat in this apartment. I put some nice uh, Epsom salts in it, because they're good for like kind of any like joint or muscle relief. So they got kind of soothing for your body. Use a bit of that. Got my lemon tree soap. That I love. Hashtag self care. <laughs> oh god. You've seen me have a bat as well. I've recorded it for you, remember? <laughs> He's a fake gamer. Yeah, sorry I practice like personal hygiene and self-care. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god. Okay, uh, I think we got everything that we could there. Uh, unless there's something at the big top that we could present here. Documents relating to payment? No, they're just gonna bond over them. Poster of Max, that doesn't really do anything. Okay, circus top. Lodge and house. Uh, Gumshoe doesn't have anything to help us with either. Okay, so that might be it there for now. Is there anything at the offices? Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking, let's get going. Okay. Oh, what's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was a uh, country bumpkin? The country boy. What are we doing now? Huh? There's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. We still don't even know what happened in the first place. Enough information to make a case yet. Could have sworn I've heard that before. Well, we never have enough information. Admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. Okay, um... Attention center. You can talk to Max. Okay, ringmaster's papers. What about this? Fabulous! You'd like me to sign this for you! This is your salary negotiations. Okay, well, maybe... With this, I can undo some of the locks. He's the only one with locks at the moment. I think we've got all the clues we can. Okay, last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? Negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth, the whole truth. What do you mean? He went to his office to negotiate a new salary. Yep, so he's lying, because this was negotiated a week ago. Ah, that's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, finish your contract negotiations a week ago. F -f fabulous all right, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? 
Why'd you do that? Sorry, Sweetie. That's private. Ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Uh, Max? Perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. You know, I'm trying to be your defense attorney here in a court of law. I kind of need to know as much information as you've got if you want me to make an actual case for you. Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Would it be the poster? I can check the poster. Let's see. No? How about it, Max? Ringmaster Colin, I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Uh... I don't know. Is it Regina? No. My soul's gonna shatter again. I already tried presenting these things to him here. What am I what am I missing? Just criticizing Russell's appearance. Regina. Ah, my sweetie pie. You must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She's my special someone, and I am her special someone. Uh-huh, very complex. That doesn't help us. That doesn't help us. jail case closed. Yeah, I mean, I think for the Jap- for, I think in Japan, I think the law actually is 16, so... There you go. I can't really... I don't think it's worth dwelling on too much, just for the sake of the game. How old is he? 21. Yeah, let's, I think, just for the, maybe for the sake of the game, maybe we should just not dwell on it. I think that's maybe best. Don't have to agree with it in the slightest. Age of in Japan is 13. Yeah, I think there's other issues maybe in Japan than just this individual age here. But, let's not dwell on that for now, alright guys? I think that's best. Let's not dwell on it. How do we get forward here? Because I thought I had all the evidence. No, it is 16 there. Okay. Let's still just not dwell on it all the same, okay? Let's not. Uh, we need to find a way to get the evidence off him. Yeah, we're moving on. Uh... Did he, does he, Gumshoe have anything else? I can give him the picture of the crime scene. Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? Well, I do have a steel samurai badge with me. How about that one? Only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a steel samurai police badge. Then it's a deal. I hear that Detective Gumshoe has that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Uh, 
I think we've examined everything too, haven't we? Max, Max, Max. Nothing new there. I try presenting uh, what I've got. Is there anything in the room I missed? Something up here? All these frames look the same. They almost look like... Thank you, carrots. Looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. The Robot Clown Research Center. The fuck is the Robot Clown? <laughs> You're kidding, right? What, there may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. Okay. Robot Clown Charity. Sure. Uh, examine most everything. There's a sign. Look, look, it's Max. Even when you don't want to see him. Oof, he's right there in front of you. Here the sign says Barry Big Circus. Looking around, it might as well be Cirque de Galactica. Stars in his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star in your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Nope, nope, it's all right. Okay, move. Uh, Lodgen? Oh, we didn't- we didn't actually search here, did we? This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. No, 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 we're the ones who left the prints. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. My god, there, were, there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. Great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. This year I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to work too? Oh shit. What do you mean by won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it. I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts. I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Poor gumshoe. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal. Killer is behind that tarp. Oh, gotcha. I was just kidding. Why would you do that? Having a good... Ho, ho. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Safety lights around the circus were all kept on at night, all night long. So they should have been on at the time of the murder. We're saying the murder took place in the light. How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm. Okay, so there should have been light when the murder happened. We're not really able to tell if that's illuminated or not. But it would have been bright out. Which is interesting. Um, okay. That didn't give us any new clues. I feel like I've missed something. Anything here? No, we, we got all that. Is there any locks? No? I don't know. Uh, okay, I mean, we've exhausted most of the circus now. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Gumshoe doesn't have anything for us right now. Tension center?
Oh, okay, I think I know what it is. I... It's like, it's because we have to present people a lot now. That's like kind of like a bigger thing they place more emphasis on. I have to present, I think, her dad. I've already forgotten her voice. After practice was over, dad went right back to his room. It's like, yeah, it's like anime slash gamer. His room? Yes, that door over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. Ringmaster's room. Well, that doesn't help. Alright, I look so cute in this picture. Uh, you guys calm down. Uh, Max? Max is in prison. Excuse me. She won't talk about the things she's worried about. We tried what's on your mind. Uh, this is like a go everywhere, use everything, every object on everything scenario. Got an affidavit to most of the performance at the circus. They're certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. <laughs> Poor Maya. I'm sorry, I was just messing around. And nothing unique for that. Looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Mm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. Just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make him a criminal. Not just his attitude, I've got proof, pal. Huh? Okay, here we go. He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. Incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have a very classy de decorative element. Silk hat added to the court record. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white robes as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? That's so easy for someone to fake, then. Just pop his hat at the scene of the crime. Or one of his hats. He's probably got several hats. Okay. Oh, the oh, there's an eyewitness, too. Tell us about the eyewitness. Uh, so what about the eyewitness? Oh, oh you know I'm not gonna tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm, oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. Can we go there now? It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Thanks, Gumshoe. Appreciate it. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. Guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse though. <laughs> oh well, I give up. Let's ha we'll have to come back later. You could say it's a real circus in this room. So sorry. Awesome, look at these shoes, they're great. Get the shoes, check out the great gag banana peel. Sure it wasn't most snack after lunch. Fine, look how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got, it's incredible. Must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? Don't try one on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it we can display it in our office. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. Okay, TV Desk. Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. 
Clowns for dummies, the joke's on you. Treat your peons right, and the classic funny jokes are funny. Wow, Mo is very studious. The joke's on you, huh? Terrible. Clown equipment is so funny looking. Got a bouncing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Who knows with that guy, maybe that's part of the gag. Okay, so, yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of people that have motivations against Max. The question is, who is the killer? I mean, very clearly, he has broken props, he needs new tools, and then all the money's going towards Max. And he's also a clown, so that means he's the most likely killer so far. What the? There's a string of carrots here. How strange, the carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he's using them for some sort of gag. Hole in the roof. Look at the ceiling, it looks like someone punched a hole in it. You're right, I wonder what happened. Mm, I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. Right. There was no new evidence from that, though. Like, there's not even, like, an eyewitness there. We have the hat. We have the hat, so that's a new thing we've got. Let's see who we can give it to. Oh, hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. My god, it's Pee Wee Herman. Hello. Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. Uh, well, uh, me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. You can't be an average Joe with a bow tie that massive. An average Joe just happens to hang out at the circus. I don't think so. Yes, I am. I got I got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying like any regular person would hang out around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I I was just happen to be here. I was just passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. Not no, not not a, not a carny. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a performer, actually. I, I'm a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Benjamin Woodman. <laughs> Your last name is Woodman? That is quite funny for a ventri ventriloquist who works with puppets. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's right, but everyone calls me Ben. Ah, yes, yes, that's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. My stage name is Daniel. What happened? Excuse me, Ben. Ah, uh, yes, you mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Re really? I I'm just a regular, normal guy. I, I don't know. Uh, this guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M -m Max? He's not very nice. You just say that Max is not very nice. Oh, my head hurts. I hope he's okay. Sounds like he just popped a gasket. Ventriloquism. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist. I am just a regular guy. <laughs> you already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. You can't help it, he's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I, right now, uh, my... I, 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 you, I, you. A wimbo, a wimbo, a wimbo. <laughs> He's contagious. God love me, so nervous. He's having trouble. 
in the jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you know about this hat? Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, 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 I, I... See if he responds to anything. Doesn't. Profiles? Benjamin Woodman. Ventriloquist can converse with him is very tiring. Will he talk about anything? He's so unbelievably nervous. Show my badge? Well, we can't get much out of him right now. Uh, present hat. This silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought up the idea for wearing the hat. Huh, really? Yep, he took my sketch to the hat shop. And they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. There's only one of these silk hats in the entire world. Isn't that cool? Okay, so there is only one. That's something new. Uh, can I ask her about Ben? Ah, that guy. His name is Ben, right? Oh, uh, you don't know him. Oh, no. He didn't really catch my eye. He's friends with Trillo, right? Wait, we're the ones asking the questions around here. Okay. Lodging house, Mo's room. Is Mo home now? The Blamo! Congratulations! <laughs> He's terrifying. I, was I, I didn't realize. I thought that was his mount for a moment, and it was like, oh my god, what's wrong with him? Congratulations! And a big winner! The one million visitors in a room of one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me! Earplugs. Must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one? Did you get my joke right there? No? I welched on giving you more than one! Um. No, no, no! If it was funny, it's your duty as a human being to laugh! People who don't laugh are usually last seen in Lansing! Catch my dream? Ah ha! Ah ha 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 Uh, Maya? Ah ha 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 ha! This is like some, uh, posture nightmare. <laughs> Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book. They're just funny looking. You sure do have a great taste in clothes, girly! Look at that garb! You look just like Greta Garb! Oh! Ah ha! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't! You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two. This stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it, but you have to admit he is kind of funny. Uh, no, I do not have to admit that, because he isn't. <laughs> oh, good God. I mean, this might be my new least favorite character already. Could you please tell us more about the Berry Big Circus? It's a very big story! You sure you got that kind of time? The hits just keep on coming. This circus has been in business for 20 years! We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry! 20 years, wow. Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition. You gotta be careful not to be goofier. 
But, but I love the circus. I love it too. That's why I've been here for 20 years. We work hard to keep the show running. No one seems to send in the clowns on us. Nick, he just made a joke. Laugh. Har, har, har. Comedy. The ringmaster was a real big shot in this circus world, a real class act. Even when there was no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew I had the family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How can anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Oh. Wiggity wiggity what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How could I fault someone for being born that way? Talk about the murder. Ah, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime! Just as we suspect it, this guy's the eyewitness to the crime. What'd you witness? They saw the crime, do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell- That was easy. But only if you can get an old stiff lips here to make with the funny. Stiff lips? Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. <coughs> What's the matter? Just getting ready. Oh. Oh no, I'm becoming like you! It's getting ready. Okay, do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, I'm a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. One second. Elise's expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Tell the guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. That night, once I had tuck tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw. Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. You know, it's more about Max and he's letting on. Okay, something happened then. It could be him at the scene of the crime. It's also just a mysterious silhouette right now. We don't know for certain. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, uh, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth. But that make-believer takes things too far. Make-believer? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty! He had the gall to say to me, you're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep, he got on everyone's nerves! The day of the murder... Go ahead. Yeah, his hat is actually gets angry with him. That's interesting. Now it's smiling, see? Nope, no way, just forget I said anything! But he's still hiding something about Max. It's that uppity faker's uppity top hat. They found us at the scene of the crime, didn't they? So I've been. Oh, no, uh. Oh god, I'm losing all semblance of myself. I'm becoming like you, Max. Well, that's okay. We will all assimilate at this rate. No one's going to be safe from the clowns. Oh, we'll succumb. Unbelievable. That jerk killed the ringmaster. It really is a shame what happened to the ringmaster, huh, Mo? It 
seems that the ringmaster was truly a great man. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can... Can I present anything else to this guy? I've been friends with Russell ever since this before the circus began. He was so selfless. He always thought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He always took such good care of me. I wish I would have thanked him more than I did. Hey, what are you gonna make of Ben? Ah, Ben! How's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right! Boy, I was surprised when they told me his secret. He's got a second mount where his belly button should be. Just kidding! Ben wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, that's a simple problem to solve. He won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet Trilo. Trilo? If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you'll barely get a word out of him. Your Honor, I would like to call Kermit the Frog to the stand. Please tell me this is going to happen. Please tell me that I didn't see nothing but the puppet. He saw some. Please, God, tell me that's where this is going. <laughs> Master and puppet. Okay, uh, it seems important for profiles here. That's the ringmaster's daughter, daughter Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's always been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese, that Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Lorena? Ah, uh, Lorena is my daughter. She lives with her mother now. Hear what they say about the tears of a clown. Oh, no. Oh. He thinks he can kill the ringmaster. It's only just that he should die, too. Oh. Sorry. I crossed the line, but he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clonked Ben right over the head, as hard as he could. Ben, the ventriloquist with the speech impediment. Uh, you should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves. Is it actually a speech impediment, or... Because he's just nervous. He doesn't actually have a speech impediment, does he? Just to actually clarify that, yeah. He's just nervous. I think that's Phoenix just being a bit of a jerk there. A nervous stutter, yeah. It makes more sense if he's a ventriloquist now, actually, because like, he'll talk with his puppet. He's just very shy about talking in person. Yeah, I, th I think he is just nervous. People can have a speech impediment while being nervous. Oh, I know that, yeah. I know that. Just to make sure that Phoenix isn't being, like, a fucking asshole to him. <laughs> That's what I said, like, there's gotta be something. Goaty gotta... There's Goaty be something interesting there. Wait, I missed the setup. What? Something interesting in where? Mo, you need to explain. I guess the very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Oh. This is an atlas. He loves it. Oh, I killed myself, really. I'm dying here. Coronary! Coronary! <laughs> Who says that? Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. I need to get out of here. Okay, map of the circus. There's quite a bit going on here. We haven't been to the cafeteria yet. What do you make of this map? No, nothing. 
Gotta find Trillo. I love you. All right, Ben. You're all right. I can go to the cafeteria now. Cool. That's what I want. Okay, Big Top Cafeteria. Keep our cafeteria clean. It's a mess here. This place is gross. Must be because of last night. I didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's go to be something interesting here. Nick, what's go to be interesting? Don't ask. There's a lot of... This is like a lot of mess, though. There's like broken bottles and stuff on the ground. Is this what he hit him with? Must be a juice bottle or something. Ah, watch out, Nick. There's broken glass all over the floor. The broken bottle is lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? Go to be something interesting here. Huh? Looks like we're gonna have to go back and meet with him. Him? Broken bottle. Looks like they left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up dishes, did they? Looking at all these dishes is making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Once we're finished with the case. It might be in three days from now, Maya. We got- we put work first. We can eat later. Where's the mute button? Phoenix is not taking anyone's shit today. He's hostile. The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have tur uh, taken turns cooking. The duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. Maya's killer hamburger. You try it, wouldn't you? Poor taste, Maya. A man has actually died here. This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here, Max is written on it. it must be his VIP table. A bit small to be a VIP table. You won't be putting a 10 course meal on this. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? Yeah, so he's really, he views himself as like above everyone else, so it's like he sits on his own. Max isn't that good of a guy. It, it's starting the scene. Hair's been knocked over. That's what it looks like. Almost looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle. We use it for self defense. Maybe Regent just likes to eat his dinner in the cafeteria. There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know, I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for him. Why do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bears repeating. But, this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Uh, you know, I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. For a cafeteria clean. Seems like anyone ever read this sign, huh? Maybe they should make it easier to understand. Clean it or die! <laughs> it does convey the message a lot more efficiently. I'll definitely make them clean up. Ah, a bulletin board for uh, bulletins. Doesn't look like there are any useful clues posted there. Or maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy? You know, like a fake clue. Maybe something like message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. We just leave a note that says, yeah, Max didn't do it. Plant false evidence while we're here. Okay, do you know anything about the bottle? No, I think this one, the bottle's just for Mo, I think. But she... Bottle was used on Ben, wasn't it? No, he, he doesn't like talking, though. He doesn't want to talk to us. Okay. Most fun time emporium. Ah, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? 
I see, well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing the lambada. Those pistols now. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. Did that not do it? Um. Well, I haven't actually been back to, uh, where do you call it? Like, the detention center in a bit. Maybe I can ask Max something. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. Call me a sweetie again. What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fantabuloso! I mean fabulous. But well, we came to meet with you again. What? What? What's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay, Max, let's make this absolutely fabulous. Uh... Yeah, what do you know about this broken bottle, Max? No, I would not like you to sign that. I have your hat. Ah, this is my silk hat. It's the one and only of its kind in the world. One of my most prized possessions. The silk hat proves that I was somewhere else. Where did they find this, huh, sweetie? They found out the murder scene. Oh. I... I don't, I don't know nothing about it. Nothing. Max, is so Max is so pathetic like this. Max was be really confused. I heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How were those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie, that's what they call jealousy. They are absolutely jealous of my fab- absolutely fabulous self. Do I have to represent them? Like, because he seems like a jerk. Can I just be like, I don't want to defend you, really. Justice for all, Dan. Damn it, you got me there. You need the money. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really, un people who really understand. Princess, my sweetie pie. The Regina understands me. I plan on getting married to her. She's truly really my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Oh, that's strange. Regina ne said never said anything about actually marrying this Joker. She didn't, yeah. Did you meet with the ringmaster on the night of the murder? Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice, I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He, ne he needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Uh, sorry, Max. I have something I must do attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? Pretty cold outside. It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? All right, I'll be right back. It'll only take about ten minutes. There's the outfit. Was that taken from here then? And then, I waited for him, but he never came back. We go to the plaza where the body was discovered. Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. I have no idea what he went off to do. Okay. Um... Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna use the help me chat here, right? Very specific question. Help me out chat. If I do the psych lock thing, do I have enough evidence gathered? Just so- yes, okay. Just so I'm not wasting a bunch of time going down that dialogue tree. 
I thought I might now. Um, let's go. I just want to make sure I wasn't missing anything like glaring. Okay, meeting with Russell. Okay, you met with the ringmaster. Negotiating salary. We've got- we've shown him this before, this isn't new. Data a week ago. We must have called him. Uh, isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Yeah, he was probably looking out for Ben. That would make sense. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that, didn't you? Of course. It fell and broke on the floor. Still hot? No, it didn't. Max. What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used, used this bottle too. used it to hit Ben. Do I just show Ben? There we go. Ben! You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room like that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician! Yeah, we did it. We got some of our life force back. And me went Russell. Truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. I mean, you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist. You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. You fought about my sweetie pie. Me and Regina. That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? I told her that he was in love with her. Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. So Max is an asshole. I don't want to defend this guy. I don't want to defend him. He, like, committing assault at least. And there's no remorse. That's why when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me, it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie. And no one else's. I see. Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Like, what have you done, Max? Uh, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Grillo can't say a word. Not without Ben. Grillo? The puppet, the ventriloquist pu puppet. His real name is Trillo Quist. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the balsa, I'd be screwed. Hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? So smart, sweetie. Uh, where did you hide him? What, sweetie? You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. You're an asshole, Max. I... Justice for all, but like, I think he needs knocking down a peg or two. Right? Okay, I hit Trillo in the ringmaster's room. Don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem. None at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Don't go hiding puppets. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna help you, Ben. Oh, Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. Hold out, he's probably in the tent. Okay, big top. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if you've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints on the scene. Still a lot of mysteries to be left to be solved. Of course. Now Regina isn't here. Not seeing how that's related. Ben's not here either. Okay, Ringmaster's room. Oh god. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Consider how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. <laughs> you can't keep stealing the Maya. Just kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of these posters? Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said that he hid Trilla somewhere in this room. Trilla's puppet. Is there somewhere we haven't looked? Nick, look at all the cute trophies. You just look at all the awards the circus has run. Had this. Hmm, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... That's Trillo. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. Give it back to him. An operatic tenor who doubles as Ben's sidekick. Why do I have to carry this thing? Okay, let's go deliver a Trillo. Uh, where did Ben go? Is he in the cafe? Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, um, uh, hello. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, uh, I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? Don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. I've no time for small talk. Here's your puppet. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Yes, that's mine. Here you go. Trillo Quist, return to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. That time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk to the clan once again. Hey, wait. Who said that? Why are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben, is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I would never. It was me, yeah, me down here. I'm talking to you. You, you're Trillo? That's Mr. Quist to you. When it's a man, it's before you just blurt my name. Try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Mr. Quist, is that better? No, look at me when I'm talking to you. Ain't bit excuse for an attorney. Ben, I know you're in character, but this is still, you, you're an asshole. Why, why is everyone a dick in this one? <laughs> like a Kermit. I, I, I don't know if I can do Kermit. Kermit, Kermit knee frog? Nope, look at me when I'm talking to you. It's too close to Goofy. Really, we talked about insulting people, you promised. But he was mocking me. Not being mean to bullies is not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick, what just happened? Trillo is still a puppet, right? A ventriloquist? Hey, who do you think you're calling me a puppet? This this puppet's going to testify in court. It's going to happen. What happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I say you're talking to me? Don't you look at him when you're talking to me. Quest, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I, I guess so. Imagine... Imagine Jim Henson is called into court for some kind of legal proceeding. Jim Henson is the important witness. And he shows up in court. 
and it's just Kermit the Frog presiding and over like a murder trial. Like, a man is dead right now. Like, this is cute with the puppet act. A man has been murdered. We don't have time for this. I would pay to watch that. Elmo's been in court. Kermit charged with manslaughter. Yeah, he's sick of everyone's shit on the Muppets. I just, I just wanted to run my show, and no one will cooperate. The Kermit, you didn't have to kill Miss Piggy. <laughs> Muppets most wanted. Elmo would be the defendant. My client has a good defense, Your Honor. He was learning his ABCs. Does proper prosecutor Cookie Monster have anything you like to add? <laughs> that old butter paid us all peanuts. Really, you can't just say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Gramps got clobbered over the head. The ringmaster got knocked up by knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. I mean, Max Galactica, why do you say that? Grillo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up, I'm made of wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there. If you're that interested, then I'll tell you in on the facts. Hey sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off from me, will you? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Oh, my. But I'll be fair, in this cesspool of human garbage masquerade. <laughs> What's your problem, Trillo? <laughs> Cesspool of human garbage. Ben's got some strong opinions about his friends. I found my Madonna. Your Madonna. Trill. Oh God! So Trillo. Oh, this is gonna be a long case. What's going on? So, last case, we had, like, face-off, ghosts from the beyond the grave, claim the spirit shrine, revenge, doctor plot. Also, you're fighting your old enemy's daughter. Uh, this time, it's man who can fly commits murder, but the only witness is, like, a puppet. Um... I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Just think about that. Um, <laughs> a man has been murdered, and the suspect is being accused on the basis that he can fly. The witness is a wooden puppet. Oh, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You have to excuse him, he does not understand what he speaks. I, on the other, am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. Marry? Can I just get back to law? <laughs> you, you're going to marry Regina? That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she's seen trouble. Well, she, I don't care, it's my choice, not hers, we're getting hitched. I know you think that, but, for what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. Gave her a song. Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'd be happy to know I decided to grace you with one of my songs. 
Me, 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 me. Thanks for watching tonight, folks. Well, um, the melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Um, uh, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, buttface! Ah! You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Trillo? Enough jibber jabber. Let's get to the corner already. Uh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. The puppet. He's a wooden puppet. <laughs> oh, Kermit the Frog's taking the stand tomorrow. <laughs> Like, there's anime crime, and I feel like this is something wholly different. I don't know what I would call this. Like, this, this tri trial is breaking my soul, even in comparison to the last one. I, like, the last crime was the extreme end of anime crime. That's as anime as it fucking gets. Um, this one just feels stupid so far. <laughs> Muppets most wanted, too. Hmm. What in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Why the pair of those two? Well, that puppet see anyway. Oh no, now what? It's a monkey. Oh no, my badge! Bobo, no! Hey, welcome back, Nick. That monkey. Ah, my badge! That monkey stole it! What? Hee hee hee! Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute. You looked so completely dumbfounded. Regina. You! That monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But my attorney's badge. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? How will people know I'm a lawyer? <laughs> By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Monkey... Money? The monkey is called Money. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Might as well get that back. I'll see what I can do. Even if I have money problems. Yeah. Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Ah, oh, that's pretty funny. I guess there's a vital where Money disappeared to... This fucking monkey's gonna have vital evidence to this crime. If the monkey testifies in court... Brave stack to a sentence there. If the monkey is called to testify in court, I'm done. I will stop playing the game. We've already had a parrot. We don't need a monkey as well. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Oh, God. Money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. Not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Gotta talk to the clown again. You mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you. 
Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart and he's such a wonderful singer. I... Is this the puppet? Is this a... this isn't Ben? Are we distinguishing? But what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. And through the hourglass, so are the days of the same. <laughs> you know, Phoenix sums up how I feel in this case. The endless expanse of time marches on. The days of my youth are long since behind. Each day we move closer to the end. <laughs> I'm gonna slam my head in a door. <laughs> Please don't actually do that. Oh, uh, like this is the stoop of this case. I think we've done. I don't want to ask about the proposal. I don't need to know. D let me find the fucking monkey and go. Go. Let me go home. We go home. Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, he, he saw all the shit that was gonna go down here, Maya, and he left. I don't blame him. <laughs> oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the time! It's alright to be wrong every now and again, right? Phoenix, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. So what can I do for you? You remember a good joke? You remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're gonna get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I pulled, put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? Ah ha! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha ha! <sighs> the monkey, please. Please. Ah, oh, yes, money! Stole my attorney's badge. Well, money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he swipe your badge. Under no circumstances can he chase after him. Why's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey biz. Jeez, I was trying to get a sound effect. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Oh, uh, I tried to get a sound effect, but it was like a Windows Movie Maker <laughs> intro. <laughs> I just got jump scared by a Windows Movie Maker intro. Yeah, let's see if we can get the sound effect. Why is it so quiet in, in relation to the intro volume? Jesus! <laughs> Mo, please tell me where the monkey is. Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. And who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course! Shall we go? Go. Go. Get it done. I'm pretty sure that's a meme somewhere. <laughs> I've seen that image. This is it! What's wrong, Mr. Right? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp! You only have to climb two flights of stairs! Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Oh, that's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Hey, Money the monkey. Monkey who takes care of Acro habitually gathers all sorts of shiny ac- Oh, big. How'd he get the fucking chuba? That's a big one. Holy cow, there's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. It's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. 
Look at this, it's a trophy. And it's really heavy. Nick, I found it. Your badge is right here. Ernie's badge returned to its rightful spot on label. Thanks, you really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring. There's something engraved on it, from T to R. Oh, that's from Trillo. But Ben seems to, like, I don't understand it though. Like, Ben seems to genuinely believe that Trillo is a separate entity to him. As far as I can understand. Like, Ben just seems like kind of not mentally well. Like, if that's the case. Is this a psychological horror? I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. You think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out of tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the... P there's anime crime, and then there's whatever the fuck this is. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got a magician on us. Yes, we do, Maya. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. To be continued. Okay. We are going to park it there for tonight. We're gonna park it there. I'm just gonna see if I can get back. Can I get an exit to like the main menu or something? No, we can leave it with this music, that's fine. I need, I need a bit of time to just unwind from whatever the fuck this case has been. Cause this one's been insane, like. <laughs> It's mentally exhausting to follow the leaps in logic that are going on here. Or like, it's all the details. Like, this man is standing trial because he's the only one who can fly. A puppet is going to testify. <sighs> I don't even like the person I'm defending. I don't think I want them. Not just because of that, but okay. No, it was a piece of evidence. It's because there was no footprints. Well, there was only one pair of footprints out to that spot. So that's one of the reasons he suspected. Because he can fly. We are entering a court of law next time we play this. Where I'm going to have to listen to Von Karma. It's clearly established that the defendant can fly. Don't be so naive, Mr. Wright. You know his superpowers. And I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to take that well. <laughs> Foolishly foolish fools. Oh god almighty help me. Um Okay, Kazba, thank you for 500 bits there. Thank you to everyone who subbed tonight. Thank you for all the bits tonight. Thank you as ever to the mods for being on hand tonight. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. That was absolutely wild, and I don't know what to think of that. Uh, we will try and press on with this next weekend again. And we'll, we'll kind of continue that case and see if we can see that case through. Might be able to because we've done the investigation part. I think it'll be like two court scenes. It'll be something like two court scenes and... Uh, Probably another investigation, I imagine. Might be three court scenes, we don't know yet. Oh god. I do hope everyone enjoyed that. Uh, tomorrow's stream, we're playing Minecraft again. And we're doing cool shit in Minecraft. Uh, I'm gonna be taking part in a charity stream for Love Tropics. Uh, we're back with that gang. Uh, I believe we're gonna be playing stuff like Minecraft Hunger Games and that, and you're all gonna have the chance to play against me and murder me. And I can't wait. 
Uh, I'll double check the time. I believe it's either 3 p.m. that I'm on or 5 p.m. I need to double check which time I'm, I'm slated for. Uh, but yeah, I'll be on for that tomorrow. And that's gonna be the main thing we're doing. It's actually good fun. Uh, let me see who's on so I can leave you in the care. Let me see, let me see. Uh, who did we raid last time? Who did we raid yesterday? There's a fair few of my friends streaming. Did I raid Kiwo last time? I'll raid Kelly tonight. Grand so. I've got a few friends going. Uh, Kelly is doing her first playthrough of Dark Souls, which is actually very entertaining to watch. I raided Josie last night, that's it. Oh yeah, there's, there's actually just a lot of my friends online tonight. It's hard to choose. Just want to make sure that, like, um, sending you around the place. I was in Cake's chat and you read it. Cool, thanks. Yeah, go say it to Kelly, though. She is doing her first playthrough of Dark Souls. She doesn't know anything. It's a no-spoiler mode chat, but it's fucking hilarious. Honestly, as someone who, like, knows Dark Souls, like, so well and has played it a million times, it's really fucking funny to watch. And there's been, like, stu- like, she- God love her, she tried to jump on a chandelier at one point. You know, like, Anna Orlando when you're on the scaffold and bits. She didn't realize you can cut the chain, so she tried to jump on it. And it's like, oh my god, Kelly, no. <laughs> so, it's genuinely quite entertaining. I get no hints if you're going to Kelly's chat and you're hanging out there. She doesn't want spoilers. But it's- it's really fucking funny. It's really entertaining to watch. And she's doing quite well at the game for her first playthrough as well. We've all been there where we just kind of learn the basics and everything's fucking terrifying. She's doing well. Okay, thanks for coming, folks. I'll see you tomorrow for Love Tropics. Have a good night.